We're definitely not live. That's no, for sure. we're live. <laughs> we're not live even now. a little bit. Hello, you can everybody. tell when we go live because Casey starts dancing. <laughs> <laughs> tell all. Hello, because everybody. he loves that I'm, music so much. I, I don't even know how I can continue to be excited about it, but it's it is catchy, and I only listen to it several times a day. <laughs> only. That only. that sounds like a new song that I'm listening to. Oh yeah, I was low, wasn't I? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Delving In Deep, episode 19. I am Uncommon, your dungeon master, and I am joined by the six sexiest players in Dungeons and Dragons over here to my right. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yo. <clears throat> Yo. Hello. Aww. Hello. Uh, how are y'all doing today? I know we've been talking for like 30 minutes, but I want, I want to know. Like today specifically, how are you? Stiff neck. Congested. Like... <laughs> I feel decent. great. Just celebrated my grandfather finishing chemo, so. Ooh, congrats yay. to him. That's good. And also, he got hired by the census, so. That's... Oh, is it like a door-to-door -door job now? Yeah, it's it. Well, actually, no. He's a trainer this year because he's been doing it long enough. So now he makes thirty bucks an hour. Damn. You know, it only it would only take him two hours of work to go to our Patreon and earn himself <laughs> a, a deputy oh. session. God. There's oh. only. Oh there's my only, god. That hurt. Isn't, there's only one left, isn't there? That. Oh, uh, it has the second one hasn't been taken, uh, but it is space. planned. It is planned. Mm-hmm. Um, so much so they have, they have a chat channel and y'all are organizing um, some characters. Who's some of y'all are in that, right? Yo. Yeah, Shell. Yo. I mean Kyle, Amanda. Yep. Right. You might as well just call me Shell. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Trevor will be the only two Delvers who don't have a second Delver game. That's so choice. what? So what you're saying is Halfling? that Someone Zach has just... to end up making one and forcing Trevor to join <laughs> and that will just peer pressure Connor into joining it. That makes sense. You don't have that's to peer a, pressure Connor plan. into joining it. Connor will gladly join it. To peer pressure Connor I mean, just the other day it. I was hearing Connor's like, I'm never playing another D&D &D game on stream. I, I, I hate this. You have to pressure me to do it again. Hmm. I want to learn Seems how to legit. Oh no. I will never play another D&D &D game. Oh, woe is me. It's true. If we played less D and D, we we might actually accomplish more in our lives. That's not, not me. Real. No. <laughs> it, it made me think of the episode of uh, was it The Simpsons? No, it was Family Guy, where uh, they were doing the, the they were little kids and they swore off girls for the rest of their lives. Oh my god, that was South Park, wasn't it? <laughs> no, no, that, that, was, that family was Family Guy. guy. It was um, Little Rascals. Uh, <laughs> it's been done a couple times and so they're there they're the future of their lives like aren't you glad we swore off women quack Maya and they're like counting their millions of dollars <laughs> we got so much accomplished um, and then he's like I'm going to go warm up a cantaloupe in the uh, microwave and fuck it do you want one oh no I'm good <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tell you I tell you if, if I could just take the energy I put into gaming and just work out all the time Oh, Jesus, you'd be terrifying. I, I, I'd be a monster. <laughs> but that's not nearly as fun or entertaining. Um, and then I wouldn't get to hang out with you guys because, you know, maybe I walk into the to the game store that day, that fresh face Casey looking for a table, and I'm just too fucking intimidating, and nobody wants to play. No, maybe that's one. Not, I'm, not, not, no. No. I'm still <laughs> happy for your fresh face. <laughs> Casey, maybe that's why I'm doing so well right now on our challenge. Because I dropped my second D&D game. This is my only D&D game right now. <laughs> there you go. Oh. The energy needed to go somewhere. That's true. It knocks you knocking it out of the park there. Is, all of us are trying to race to lose weight, and many of us are sitting at the behind the finish, behind the start line. Oh, I've gained four pounds. <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. Oh, three. <laughs> I'll start fresh How many tomorrow. have you lost, Rox? Um, 17. I haven't. My weight, my weigh-ins tomorrow, but I'm still sitting at 15. I think. Very cool. Nice. Now, you don't, don't say 15 pounds in a depressing manner. It was like one month ago. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> but <laughs> enough about that. You all are here 
for D and D. We do have hangout episodes occasionally. Join those. Um, but for now, last time on delving in deep, the party sat down and had dinner with Anthony. We actually named the last episode Surf and Turf. I'm, <laughs> I'm proud of that one. <laughs> and they had they were having dinner. They're having a meal, getting out some of the conversations about Anthony's future, their goals, where they're going. And then everything shifted to the east, slightly southeast. Wait, th this is a better way to put this. We're having a nice dinner chat, and then the DM fucked us. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the dinner, fair. and then suddenly wave. I mean, I did buy you dinner first. <laughs> it's true. Uh, true. <laughs> Well, the thing is, you He's did it in point. public, too. You didn't even, like, you didn't take us to the carriage. You didn't take us to a motel. No, it was right in full view of everyone. That's my that's my fetish. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the way I um, like it, so. Okay. Actually, that costs back to Disneyland a couple oh, days ago. Shit. Oh, my God. Are there things we need to know? No. Uh, hmm. So, I don't believe anyway, you. the whole world shifts suddenly to these. Everything around you, the table, the plates, and as you walk out, to the that side you see a bright light to the southeast far into the distance shooting out into the sky well beyond the horizon and the water and the docks receding away and those familiar with large waves reacted and started moving inland as a giant tidal wave came crashing into steel city blasting away uh building structures, debris, people. And in the chaos, our group managed to take a little bit of cover and survive their hardy constitution, their well-traveled, uh, well, well, their well-traveled nature, their, their experience points and their levels and their hit points managed to keep them alive. But that experience isn't a, a widely had thing. And much of the city uh, fell to the power of, of the wave um, at the end of it as you stood among the the bodies and the wreckage and the debris uh, Anthony said his last farewells and departed returning back to the military district and you noticing that your ship was the only thing left in the harbor standing decided it was better to get on the chaos pixie and leave rather than questions arise and you find yourself now about 12 hours outside Steelport City, uh, moving to wherever your heart may want to take you. And scrolling up really quick, Spoopy gifting 10 tier 1 subs to the community. A 60 woo, total woo, gift subs. Woo. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks. Uh, 49 people, 50 people, plus other people getting emotes. And thank you so much. You're amazing, oh, Spooky. Crap, it's Valentine's Day emotes. I love the I love Valentine's them. Day emotes. I, I, I love specifically this one. This is just... This is, this is beautiful. Yep, I like oh. that one. Oh no, just people kissing and, and aiming at each other. And I just see... <laughs> people who got the kissing emotes, uh, put, put Anthony in the middle of them. There you go. Yes! <laughs> He's what unprepared done? for it. All right. <clears throat> anyway, so you find yourself on the boat 12 hours outside of Steelport. Uh, long rest complete, kind of without a destination when you all know, kind of gathered around an early, an early lunch. Snitch is cooking up some foods with the, with the help of Steven. And see. So, where exactly are we going? Last time we had. Not last time. Damn it. Uh, earlier we had talked about um, going in the direction of where we saw the pillar of light. Um, I believe. Um, Kester, you marked the map, correct? However, that marking is no longer on the map. So, um, what what marking were you using? Uh, you kind of like a giant cone. 
It was a giant cone, oh, but yeah. um, essentially, the the top of it was the yep. point. Oh, there, I know. Well, I, I'm, the I'm tracking. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, you know, you. I'm... <laughs> Let's go do that way okay, and man. okay. Oh, wait, not that way. That and then right somewhere there. There you go. There's your cone. Your cone of influence. Where's the bottom half? It might not be showing up for you. Okay. Well, maybe go. I have there. It I had to right click at the end. It. Oh, okay. Hey, look at that gift into Albino Squirrel and to Mad Kaiser. She's choosing her target. 62 gift sub. Thank you so much. Or originally, it was like she was chucking grenades and now pulled out the sniper <laughs> rifle. Sniper off. fire. That I need to spoopy on my team. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, that was the direction we were going in. Um, in all actuality, um, it's up to you. I mean, it's better than what we ha than going nowhere. I mean, it's something that needs to be investigated at least. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad we you got can out stop of clicking it. We did. Oh, it's not me. Yeah, that's hilarious. Mary, stop clicking it. <laughs> That's Larry because colored. he thinks that that specific tower is where all this came from. Your Larry guys is, does. Your guys' clicks are way too close in color. You need Thanks. what do you need to change? Oh, yeah, they're kind of close, aren't they? Mm -hmm. uh, shit, what was going on? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Besides, we it's were, an adventure either way, right? Just, I was distracted by colors. We were headed towards the magical <sighs> disturbance in the world. Wasn't yeah, but the disturbance probably came from the islands that are in between us and the tower. Oh no, no, that's why we're going. If you say so. No, that's why we're going past the islands. Make see if there's damage. If there's damage, then oh keep right, going. right, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That makes sense. If not, there's still you know half a continent. All the consonants. And at any rate, it's adventure either way, so. So towards the magical disturbance it is. Okay. Hopefully there's not another one. Give me a give me a ping on the map, kind of where you want to go. It, pick a hex. Yes, this uh, way? A square. I actually, just put a square, like, like the little blue one. I see one person opting for the tower. I will put one up. The tower represents the great library... Of, um... <laughs> We're going by the island first. Fortech. Not for Fortec, thank you. I mean, I would like to go to the library, but at a different time. All right, how about... I think the... right here. That's what we're... I think. Oh, okay, thank you, Trevor. Other that people put their thoughts. Put that was actually where I was going to put mine as well. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Yeah, can I just also vote for Trevor's idea? I was gonna say, yes, yeah, such this is along the way. I also think here first. <laughs> <laughs> North, never mind. Snitch will walk up to the map and and put his finger down on this point and say, "I, I, now here, this is pretty nice, snazzy." And he points to the Menmo's Island, way to the south. Oh, no. I yes, yes, I agree. No. That's Snitch. my second choice, right there. Snitch, I agree. <laughs> I like where you're headed. <laughs> If that came from the Menmo's Island, we have an entirely different problem and should take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> With many, many people. No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> Fine. Wait a minute, you can do that there? That sounds fantastic. I know, right? <laughs> Votes. All those in favor of the islands first and then to the tower. That, that it just really... makes sense. It's most on the way. <laughs> I, I mean, yes... But also Snitch's idea. <laughs> I'm torn yeah, now. That is a good idea. <laughs> We're not going there. We need right. a vacation. Hey, man, come on. Why, why not? We could um, restock. It's true. We can restock. Um, I hear they have uh, good meats on sticks. If you're on a vacation, I know a really good place we can get a bunch of dwarf <coughs> sheep. No. No, no, no. Party City. 
Steven, Steven raises his hand for Party City. Snitch puts his hand up for Party City. <laughs> All right, four versus three. The four have it. I don't know. Joy was kind of in the middle. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, yeah, that leaves yeah. one person who didn't put his vote in. Mm-hmm. Who? Squishy. Doyle. Well, nine if you count Squishy. Uh, oh, oh, and the, and the Pixie. The Pixie hasn't put in a vote yet. Yeah, sure, why not, Squishy? What do you think? The Pixie's uh, right interested. Jory. <laughs> Only I, I one of us are handling. What'd you say? I didn't hear you. Animal handling, if you, if you really uh, want to commune with him. Of and and in, uh, I know this will represent communicating the idea of um, giving him choice. Um, and thus beginning his descent into realism as <laughs> the final villain. <laughs> Eventually at ninth level, it's gonna <laughs> and it's going to get bad. I'm going to what? You're going to awaken him. Well, say squishy, <laughs> squishy points to the to the um, the greenest part of the map, uh, not the Sandless's islands, That's but Sandless's right. territory. Oh, I like uh, that plan too. Close enough. And that makes sense. Okay, what does the pixie say, though, Joy? Well, the pixie will tell, will go wherever she, wherever they want, really. But I guess I could ask her. Yes. What does the pixie want? Okay. Um, the pixie will um, roll me a persuasion, please. Pixie will roll you a persuasion, please. There you go. Even. I'll do it. Pixie. I'll do it, pixie. And if you fail, the pixie will just roll over and we all drown. Oh, <laughs> please no. The pixie comes back to you uh, this time a, a deep thirty voice of. Um, are you looking for my opinion on where we're going? I'm thinking we just like go to the south for a little bit and the north for a little bit. We enjoy some time like at, at, the, at the northeast direction. Maybe try an underwater trip. You breathe underwater, the, right? No. There might be an ebb for that. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Soon. I'm going to look for that in my book. Hashtag soon? Um, Hashtag how soon? Nothing in the, the index, <laughs> What was that? What's the verdict from Pixie? Uh, the Pixie's just excited to go whatever direction. Oh. Yes. I think, so I, I, th I think he's enjoying his new, uh, his new... Who build. was the non-vote? Was it Squissy and the Pixie who did not vote? What are, well, I also didn't vote because I was trying to be impartial, but uh, apparently I might need to throw my vote in. <laughs> Hey, uh, Knox, you know, we just, just, you know, maybe take up just a, a little bit of a trip down and check it out. I've heard some great things. Been there once. But your business started? Oh, Steven needs to restock. Shit, we don't have Steven's vote. No, no, Steven, Steven, Steven won and yeah. Snitch voted yeah. for Party Town. Oh, right, I'm sorry. Party I don't know why I thought. A different player character. I.e. Casey voted twice for Party Town. <laughs> <laughs> you want to and travel with NPCs? Doing a... yeah. He's doing what it is. Jory, I, I need your vote. You have my vote. Your vote, it, you were a little wishy-washy. I said islands, and then we go to the library. Okay. Yeah. Then, yeah, four to three. We go to the and... library. But islands first. Okay. Now here's a question I have. Mm -hmm. Let's say we find whoever did this tidal wave. What then? What if it was just a natural disaster? Definitely was not a natural disaster. I yeah. know, but what if? <laughs> well, if it is, um, we go party. No. Oh. So that sounds like a vote for, for, for the minimum. So. I, I imagine it's like a reconnaissance mission. We don't actually engage, especially if they have powers like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, get what intel we can and uh, see what, who, what it would be most useful for. Fair enough. I mean, I, my curiosity does just kill me. 
not knowing what's going on. Well, you know what they say, killed the cat, but it always brings it back. The satisfaction well, part, that is. Well, cat's got nine lives and I'm a druid, so I can I can die a couple of times and come back too. What? No, no, that's, that's not that's how that works. works. It is if I'm a cat. I, I mean, I guess that... That's, no, that's not a sound argument, Joy. I, I just had an aneurysm from the stupidity. Hey, I'm not stupid. I'm hoping Casey got the reference. Not the reference, no. I'm bad at references. Your favorite character. Oh, I mean... Ida? Yes, the... Never mind. <laughs> That's what he says to Nappa right I'm, before he I'm, kills. I am very bad at quotes. I love the show. I've seen it four times through, but I can't do quotes to save my life. I barely remember your name, Connor. That's true. I mean, at least you don't call me by my character's name like Trevor does. Well, the names are right Shut here up, in front of me. It's, it's right there. It says Shelt. And who is who is Kyle but Shelt? Acknol. Let's not talk about Acknol here. <laughs> hey, Spoopy with the 63rd gift sub to... Jesus Christ, Woo! Spoopy. Trevor. Huh? Congrats on the sub. Woo! Thanks for hanging out. You are Caption Rex, right? Yeah, I am Caption Rex, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm so confused yeah, what you, happened. You... <laughs> you I don't tell at all. You have a subscription now. Oh, sweet. Thank that, you. That's Happy the risk birthday. of typing in chat. <laughs> And not having a sub. Because then it happens. Um, can I use pile points to do something bad to Nox? Unfortunately, we don't have any piles points directly aimed at hurting specific characters. It is, uh, it is a little bit... Antagonistic? No. I mean, there's plenty of things that do bad things at, at my discretion. <laughs> maybe today's, maybe today's abyss. abyss today. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Maybe we'll find out at some point. Um... So, what would you... Oh, there it is. God damn it, Spoopy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, We're at sea, and there's points in the abyss. So. Disintegrate. He's no. Where will... Where, your, your party's decided on where you want to go. Mm. Uh, and who is going to do the... Nav who's going to take control, navigate? I'm taking control and navigating, since that's a wisdom role you've given us. Okay. So, give me a... Uh, navigators check navigators tools using wisdom do you do you want navigators tools or do you want Which traveling you using vehicle, the water vehicle vehicle tools? water give me vehicle water because we've got both that's fine you work as a pair i assume so i'm always going to take advantage on these I big don't party know steering oh. okay well i'm glad that you had us roll advantage <clears throat> fair enough as you take Looks to be about a day to get to your island. Begin to see a storm on the horizon. It's a... It seems like this mix of a water spout, hurricane, fast winds, dark clouds to the north, and uh, da -da -da, let me do my directions real quick, to the north and east. Uh, it is moving in your direction. So that squiggly line that uh, Larry made on the map, that's the hurricane. <laughs> oh, here. Let's, let's move this around. Uh, right about there on the map. And you are the, the pink... I say you the pink line, pink dot right there. And the hurricane, miniature hurricane water spout, is abnormal. This is not a normal weather pattern. It resembles several water, weather patterns you've seen before but it's coming in your direction and the pixie is excited joy you feel the energy coming from the pixie of course he is nox you feel the wheel resisting your commands what do you do can i actually beat this thing it's the entire ship. I can't beat this thing in an arm wrestling contest. It depends on how you, you want to do could. it. All right. Yeah, I'm going to use the steering wheel and steer away from the fucking hurricane. Okay. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. 
And just go ahead and do it at advantage to represent a long-term athletics check. Okay, okay. This won't go bad at all. Wow. Nice. You're on fire. Okay. You manage to resist the wheel as it tries to spin to the left. It gets a, a, it gets a quarter rotation before you grab it and rear back. You stick your foot down the bottom, keeping the... Uh, down against the bottom of the wheel, keeping it straight, locking it in places that fights against you, unnaturally so, as the pixie seems to want to steer right into the storm. Uh, but with those Jesus. double natural 20s, like, there's no penalty. I, I feel you've just fucking nailed it. The complete <laughs> encounter has been avoided as this I hope ship... we don't have a combat or else we're fucked. <laughs> if we have a ship... combat, we are fucked, guys. Oh, you're fine. You've had Why? so many combats. I mean, we are fully held, healed, yeah. right? Because we leveled up, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying I'm saying we're fucked because I'm going to roll a bunch of nat ones to meet these two. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Did I say critties? Oh, my God. It's critties. <laughs> I don't know why I said critties. <laughs> um, just, 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 just keep using it. Keep using it. That's your new word, critties. Can, can we change the pile points to uh, add a critty? Add, add a what? <laughs> To add a critty. Add a critty point. <laughs> yeah, instead of a word of critical hit, just add, add, award a critty. Instead of add a critical hit, add a critty. Just call it a critty. Just call yeah, it a critty. Just add call a it a critty. critty. <laughs> when you say critty, I think of like those little fur balls from Star Trek. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, I, I was thinking hey, of like a, like a D20 cookie. Oh my god. Casey, uh. uh Spoopy didn't like uh, that nat 20 success, so someone else decided to throw some points into the abyss. Jesus. Hurricane <sighs> <sighs> Mark II comes from the other direction. <laughs> Nox, your perfect control of the boat leans you suddenly down as you find yourself taking a, a steep dive forward into the, not into the water, but into a second whirlpool that begins to form directly under you. The whirlpool taking the boat, kind of like a, an RC car track, in a <laughs> circle. What is everybody doing while this is happening? All right. Um, oh, oh we're gonna be sick. Nope, we nope, need nope, to nope. get out of the water. Oh, if it's, a, whir the if it's a whirlpool, I'm going to fix this real quick. Nox is just like, I am done with this shit. Control water. Okay. Oh. Uh, let me go ahead and double check control water's uh, significance in such a wide area. It's a hundred square feet. It, it's pretty big. Look at that. All right. So let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. I updated the D&D &D Beyond sheet. I did not update the roll 20 sheet. Is that okay? The... I had not yeah, updated you mine since level four. Okay. As I'm level you, two. As long as your clicks work. Um... So you pull in the power of Crolome. You reach in and sense the flow of the water. What are you attempting to do as you, you feel your power connecting with it on, on a, uh, a wide area? 100 feet, I believe it is. Uh, a cube 100 feet on the side. Um, yeah. Essentially, I'm just trying to redirect the flow and move the whirlpool. Okay. Let's see. Um, so, redirect flow causes the flow to move in the direction you choose, even if the water has to flow or obstacles, walls, blah, 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 blah. Whirlpool, you can cause it. You can obviously. Okay. So, here's what happens. <clears throat> and no, none of your points have been invalidated yet, Spoopy. We're getting there. <laughs> um, where are you directing it to? Give me a sec. Um, let me take a look at the map. I would say forward, backwards, left, or right in, in relativity to the ship because you're kind of going down to the drain right. right now. To the right. Okay. As you get a grip and you're pushing the water. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I apologize. What direction is the whirlpool spinning? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Counter. Counterclockwise? Then I would move it to the left. Okay. As you pull and undo the circular force of the whirlpool, dissipating and sending the flow to the left. You have to reach out again, and with your previous natural 20s, um, grab on to the... Uh, grab onto the wheel. 
to keep the pixie from following the course. Um, but in your manipulating of the water, reaching in and touching it and, and redirecting it, you felt it part around an object of significant power below you as it split against that object and the boat, uh, the pixie moves past it. Mm, shit. <laughs> Watch out, going Nox. What's going I'm on? Um, so you all saw the whirlpool and you see that storm on the horizon, right? Yeah. 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 Very scary. Well, um, I just threw the whirlpool, which I never thought I'd say that in my life. Um, however, the problem is when I threw the whirlpool, something broke it. Something broke the whirlpool? There's something what? under the water that broke a whirlpool. Well, that's like, weird. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, how is that possible? Maybe it's a chaos I have pixie. No it was clue. protecting us. Do we stop? Do we keep going? Do we ignore it? We go back? That could be helpful. How far? How long ago? Like, now? Shit, how long ago was it? Well, the time it takes you to move down to the stairs, and, and I'm assuming everybody's kind of in the inside of the ship. You're talking to, like, the common area. 15, 20 seconds. The, the, the waters have calmed. The whirlpool behind you dissipated. Uh, and the storm's on the horizon. So it's behind, like, underneath us? Behind and under the water, yeah. Do we have a dive team? Well, I can the I pixie turn into a submarine? Water. Can the pixie turn into something that can go underwater and protect us? Without, you know, drowning I, us? I don't think it has a dome. Yeah. Also, how would we see the thing? We don't have glass. Yeah, that too. If we have another brave soul that's willing to go diving with me, we could maybe go check it out. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm a, you as well. Uh, uh, you, you, you don't need to breathe, though. That's fine. Yeah, you really don't. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're yeah. actually the prime candidate for this. I, I, I got you. You just tie me to my table, launcher, launch me in the direction. Oh, it is, I'll sink down. Uh, I'll tug three times for pulling me up. Two says faster, and one says help! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm staying up here, huh? Yeah. Uh, Kia, do you want to go with him? Yeah, I could go with. Cool, come over here. I'm going to fourth uh, level fly on me and Kia. Sweet. I've already used my fourth level slot. Same. So fast. <laughs> Fifth level fly. Okay. Fourth level fly. Fourth level fly on you and Kia. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are you doing? With that, with that you have, you both lit, feel the power of the flight take, and you can now fly. I'll figure out how this works. I want to watch this backfire terribly. But we're going to fly over with Jabo after Jabo launches himself. I <laughs> drop okay. anchor just so we're clear. Okay, so the ship comes to a halt. Jabo loads into the launcher. Uh, Kia and Kester take to the air. And Jabo, you are there's some rope attached to you. Uh, what would we, we say? About 600 feet of rope. And you have a lever in front of you. This was built for self-launching. Finally, I get to use this. I hope it doesn't fail. Before he goes, I, just, oh. I, I go and check his knots and make sure it isn't just <laughs> one singular rope around his belt. It's just like, okay, strap over here, strap over here, strap over here, strap up the crotch, and there we're good. You should uh, be okay. If I remember, your survival check was pretty good for tying these. It's a series of ropes tied in knots together that will... I think I critted it, yeah. Yeah, they'll tighten as pressure is pulled against them. You pull the lever, and the launcher shoots you forward. The wind and the air pressing your body deep against this person-shaped cup launcher <laughs> seat... And before you know it, you're flying. Kia, Kester, you're not ready for the speed in which Jabo passes you. Uh, you've not seen a bird, um, uh, an animal, anything fly nearly this fast. Just shoots up. Jabo, give me an athletics check. Could not be cut in half. Okay. Out of, mm. out of 23... <laughs> You start by letting the initial force of the wind 
pull your body into a more aerodynamic shape. You bring your arms uh, out a bit to redirect and aim yourself as you point yourself down back at the water, having hit enough height that your fall begins to accelerate, accelerate, and you, you dive in. Uh, the world goes blue as the ocean swells around you. Kia, Kester, what are you doing? Should we follow, are we following him, or...? Uh, hmm, you know... That, did you think this... I, I didn't think this far ahead. Like, I knew I could get over <laughs> here, and I knew we could go under and probably come back out, but I didn't plan on j just kind of... Launching. Yeah, I didn't think about <laughs> keeping track of j -Bo. I was just super excited to try this. Just follow the rope! Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, follow the rope. <laughs> just think of it like a drying fishing line. That's a good way to put it. Oh, by the way, if it gets close to 10 minutes, Kia, you should head back, because I can only get both of us up once. Oh, I can levitate. It's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> Don't make a jig stick joke. Don't make a jig joke. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Baron by making Actually, a really good joke. Choice. Kester, yeah. Kia, you fly across the water. The, the waves a bit still. Uh, low wakes crashing. As you get to where the line hits the water and sinks in. Jabo, you see about give give me a perception check, actually, as you as you hit your 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 eyes clear away from the initial force and the impact of the dive. Okay. You see a long serpent um cradled around a nest uh, under you recognize it like a bird's nest uh and the serpent like a like a large not uh, not leathery snake um like a scaly fishy style coat of shimmering blue and white against the Eyes. light what's that how big is it this creature is it's not gargantuan it, it, it's it's what's uh, one size above large huge as it's, it's kind of curled around protectively uh, this nest uh, in side uh, glowing and illuminating the area the, the sea around you after the first 10 or so feet goes dark as the light doesn't penetrate the deep but here at this point in between, in the nest, protected by this curled uh, serpent, there is some kind of glowing, shimmering power source. Yeah, if they haven't reached me yet, I'm going to try to stealthily swim up to it and see if I can touch it without startling the snake. Okay. If I can, I'm going to hold on to it and yank my thing one time. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do, do I feel it on the oh. far side? That's 600 feet of rope. We'll just, we'll just give this a, a sequence of events. Amazing. To do this, j yeah. I do need a stealth check. Stealth, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I have a plus eight. Let me <laughs> check creature stats here. Um, okay. As you begin to move through the water, it takes you a moment to understand the currents and stealth as you get closer. It's awake. And it's moving around. It seems not aware of your presence immediately as you come up to a, a big uh, kind of a, a rock shelf to the side. Just as close as you're able to get without risking being seen. As you can peek up and the nest is just on the other side of this large rock shelf and you see Kia and Kester in the water now behind you and you see this too the two of you do uh, whether or not you can make it out clearly uh, you do see the light and this serpent kind of moving around listing against the current is there like some sort of check to identify that serpent or do we have any knowledge of that kind of thing you can give me a, a nature check we will try it yeah Let's do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, five. Oh no, that's not mine. Uh, yeah, mine didn't fine. go. You're gonna, yeah. Go. 
I mean, do you even need to roll with that five there? <laughs> oh. Bunked went 20 for the first one. Yeah. <laughs> um, taking a look at this thing, um, it's very hard to pinpoint exactly the nature. You don't, you don't know the creature. You've heard tales of great sea serpents. They're, they're drawn on maps everywhere, so they have to exist. Right. Um, but this thing in particular, no, you don't know its its name or its uh, species or any traits about it. It's not a leviathan. This is scary, but cool at the same time. Uh, how far away am I to the actual said object? You... How is how big is the object? Just so I can picture sure. that. Um, what was your previous perception check? Uh, thirteen. Okay. Um... And my passive is either a thirteen or a fourteen. The. 13. The object itself is of um, at a medium size. Like it's, it's like uh, the size of a, a holdable object. Okay, so it wouldn't like would it reduce my swim speed? No more than your current equipment is. Okay. Yeah, you're, you you could if you could get your hand around whatever this is. It's hard to discern the shape though in the water and and with the light. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, without anyone being able to talk to me, my what? idea is... How far away is it? I didn't click that. Uh, 40 feet from your current position, you see the leathery um, body of the serpent coiled just between you and it. The nest itself made up of the debris of planks and destroyed ships and coral reefs kind of blended in. Uh, Jabo's gonna take a crack at it. Uh, Zephyr strike for a bonus action to uh, basically allow myself to have two movements to get there, grab it, and swim back, and it doesn't uh, provoke any opportunity attacks when I have Zephyr strike. Okay. Um, Kia, Caster, what are you doing at this moment before we address? Yeah. Oh, do we you, see Jabo? You, you do see Jabo yeah. prepping to to launch, and he's got his feet uh, he's bent <laughs> like against the side of a pool, ready to. Yeah, yeah, he's ready to jump. I guess um, I may prepare myself in case combat starts. Okay, what would you do? What would uh, be your... Unsheathe my rapier and just combat stance as best as I can in the water. Okay, all right. What about you, Kester? Uh... Holding on to this, that was a bad idea right now. Uh, Key has the right idea. Although I'm going to grab on to uh, the rope that Jabo's about to push off on. Okay. Okay. So I think I know us. We'll see where this goes. <laughs> I grab it. You guys are going to try to eat me along. I might. <laughs> That's part of my plan. <clears throat> All right. So, Jabo, give me... Give me an athletics check. Mm -hmm. got, I'm asking for a bunch of checks here, but yeah, you're doubling no, your speed. It. You're you're diving into the nest. Yep. Okay. Right. Here's Here's how this goes down. You grab a piece of the rock, you push your feet against it, and you shoot off, and you start swimming for this light. As you you get closer, um, you start moving your arms, you're kicking your feet, you get right to it when the serpent notices. You reach out, and you grab what is now a sword. A glowing oh. sword. It's got... Uh, a scaled, almost looks like a scaled blade, like fish scales all the way up, and the, the handle is coral and uh, bright green, and as you grab it, the two of you watch as the serpent swallows j in a bite. Oh, oh shit. And oh. on the boat, you feel the boat lurch <laughs> as the j launcher and the line go tight. Mm. Roll initiative. Mmm. Uh. All Motherfucker. Us? Jesus. Oh. I had us? to try. I had to try. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'll be sitting in there for a while. Let me find my... Where's my... Delving into pitch. There we go. Um, you're rolling initiatives. I didn't have the turn order thing up, so try again. Well, we need to... Oh, oh. yeah. We, we need tokens. You need everything. Jeez, so needy. One second. <laughs> 
Yeah, geez, uh, roll 20. Why don't you enough. fix things? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use another page, the battle page we've used before. Um, we're going to oh, delete. Hey, it's you a remember reminder the scene? of my crimes. I remember the scene. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Everyone remembers the scene, Casey. <laughs> there you oh. go. I, I don't remember the scene. Tell me I want my 22 back. Um, <laughs> I accidentally made our Same. big bad evil guy by not being able to kill another bear because you guys stopped me. Big bad evil? You mean the baby owlbear who went off to wizard school to find his revenge? Can't wait. He didn't go to wizard school. He went to warlock school, you told us. We, we did long rest, by the way. There's no such right? thing just as make yeah. a double share. Yes, we did. Yeah, you did. I, I, I just went ahead and healed myself. Oh, it's a dragon. Hmm. Let's go with that. Oh, hi, dragon. What did you do, Is that just, oh, is yeah, that just a holder what? token, or is that supposed to be your it, idea? It, of... it is um, the right size. Uh, similar enough in mesh, we use it for a token, um, but it is not an it is not an adult white dragon. You would be so fortunate. That's not an adult white dragon, though. That's a. I have I have adult white that, dragon. That is an adult screen. white dragon. Is that an adult? I thought. No, that's oh. adult. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was a young. Um, and so what we're gonna do? I was unfortunately a nine. Is we're gonna take. This creature, put it over here. We're gonna take. Oh, I need to pop out some windows. Jabo, put you right there. <laughs> Where I belong. Yeah, Kester. Each of these distances is approximate. This so is, we're all the way over here, huh? Yeah, as far enough as I can, I can make it. And then you know, we'll just chaos pixies a boat, something like that. Nice square boat. Nice Nothing square needs to be boat. Exact right now. And we'll say that, you know, just for you, Jabo. There's a line. Oh, I wish this happened on day two. Go, going to a launcher. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have a battle map. I think it's all showing up on stream. Um, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. it. Great. All right, where's my initiative again? There it is. Okay. As soon. Go ahead. As it goes to talk. Never mind. Sorry, it's not my turn. Shelt, uh, the first thing you notice is the light go tight as the whole boat lurches forward from the power of whatever is pulling it. What do you do? Uh, shit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, like, I... Help Nox God. when he the line? Yeah, I'll, I'll get ready to help action Nox when he grabs the line. That's a good idea. Because literally all my uh, all my options that are good require strength. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just get ready to help action dogs. Get the line. Oh my god. Jabo. On a 20. You have this sword. I do unfortunately head. have a 9 unless you let me have the new initiative. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll fix you. Anybody I else need fixing? That, but... I had a 20. I had a 4. I had a 22 as well. 22. I had a 24, you know, one higher. I had a 10, but it doesn't matter. So. All right. Cool. We'll just get everybody where they need to be, and I'll resort. Oh, wait. It does matter. I would beat the dragon. And then Shell went. Thing. So, Kester, you see him get swallowed, and, and then everything goes black. Uh, there's no more light source illuminating the scene, but you feel the rope get taut, and you get yanked in that direction several feet while holding onto it. Right. Uh... That case, first things first. Uh, tip my tip my uh, blade song first. Okay. And he's we're now in combat. Uh, <laughs> second thing, second. Uh, light on the end of my sword. It is not concentration, thankfully. You're casting light, you said. Yes. Okay. Yeah, your your sword also becomes a beacon of light. Kia, the the darkness hits, but is illuminated in your immediate vicinity by Kester. Okay. Does my fly speed go up by ten with blade song, or is fly like separate? Uh, what did what did Blade Song say? Uh, let me check. Uh, two percent. You gain plus four AC. Constitution and zero incapacitated. The fuck. Tabo has uh, your walking a uh, walking speed. It's not a fly yeah. speed. Yep. So no, because you dance when you move. Fucking broken. Okay. So you you do that. The light lights up. You you take uh your Blade Song begins. Uh, next up, Kia. Well. I guess I'm going to go stab a worm. Okay. So you pull yourself down the line? Yep. 
Okay. We'll say, um, what's your swim speed? Half your movement speed, so 15 per? Yeah. Okay, you start kicking it. You start, oh, you're flying. What's your fly speed, actually? Uh, 60. 60. Okay, so 120 feet uh, of, of movement, and you you get to the point where you feel the force of the worm, uh, the, excuse me, the, the serpent uh, thrashing, and you know you're 10 to 20 feet away with a dash. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. You're a rogue, so I assume that dash is bonus action. Yep. yep. Yep, I'll get my butt over there. Okay. Anything else? Uh, can I still attack it? You have your action, but you can't see okay. it. Uh, you just know it's in front of you somewhere. Okay. I'll do my best then. Okay. Let's see it. At a disadvantage, I take it? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, an 11. Uh, you're not sure the result as the arrow flies into the darkness. Or, not arrow. Rapier. Uh, rapier. Oh, yeah. yeah, you swish around yeah. in the darkness and you don't hit anything. Okay. All right. The Great Serpent. Jabo. What's your armor class? 18. All right. Uh, mm. <laughs> it attempts to bite down on you, hits an 18, and deals 17 points of piercing damage as you feel the these teeth begin to gnaw on you. So I'm not like swallowed, body. swallowed. I'm just chilling in his mouth. Yes, big mouth at the edge. You feel the muscles trying to pull you in as you choose. All right. And actually, as that's happening, Kia and, and uh, Kester, you get a glimpse of exactly where this creature is. Um, Kia, he is 10 feet in front of you. As you see this light kind of beam out of its mouth when it opens up to try to bite Jabo. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nox. This looks good. <laughs> Grabbing the rope and pulling it in. All right. You may roll athletics at advantage. <laughs> All right. Um, so two things are happening right now, Nox. As you begin to pull it in, the, the rope's heights you're able to pull in um 22 feet of the rope on your turn and get it wrapped around um kind of the the, uh, the, the things pins. The, the pins yeah we'll say the big pins um but the anchor on the other side is is pulling the boat now in two directions the anchor is now gone tight on the other side and it's been dragged across the ocean floor a few feet and is hooked onto something. Oh no, there's sea creature! Sea creature battle! <laughs> <laughs> so many sea creatures! So that's your Pokemon? action. Anything else you'd like to do? Yes, Pokemon. Um, no, just get ready to pull in more rope. Okay. Jabo. Inside the mouth of the creature, it's mm -hmm. it's. You, I'd say it's lit up, but you are being compressed on all sides by tongue and cheek and tooth and mouth throat muscles. You hear a voice as it reaches deep within your um, Noggin. mind, noggin, and says, <laughs> "Oh, hey, honey, nice to see you. There, have you been eating right?" Uh, Getting plenty of vitamins. I don't know who's talking, but I, I got some busy work to do right now. And I'm going to just hope that the sword that shines bright is stronger than any other sword I've ever used. Okay. <laughs> and just swing. Well, bonus action market, then swing. And I don't know. Is this a versatile weapon or is this? Um, This is a strength weapon. No versatile. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> um. That'll be fun. How am I going to roll that? Uh, do you have a, a a quick item I can just choose to use? Uh, and yeah. I can add the bonuses. Bonus just second. roll your strength and then you can add proficiency. Okay, I'll yeah, do that. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, you're a ranger. You should already have strength saving throw proficiency. I, I yep, did... I'll just do my saving throw. Plus, what's your proficiency? Uh, that's with the proficiency. Okay. Um, from the inside... That's enough. Uh, oh. it, 
it hits on a 12 and you dive this sword by the way plus two longsword um if you want to add a plus two longsword to your thing for now um okay as you drive it deep into the bottom of its jaw uh the beast's mouth opens uh and it tries to expel you as you see your feel your feet being flung out the other way as it thrashes its head uh, back and forth. Go ahead and roll me uh, a, a d8 plus strength plus two, please. So that's the d8. <laughs> <laughs> so plus three more. <laughs> okay. Um, the sword doesn't bury itself deep enough that when this thing thrashes about, you and the sword come flying out of it you now tied to a rope with a uh, this glowing sword uh knocks the line goes loose the ship lurches back uh the the anchor loosening on the other side um and jay well, you still have your movement left uh and and is the mouth open for me to run out? Oh, you're out. You you were expelled from the creature by stabbing it on the inside of its jaw. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to take that opportunity to try to get away, and I know he gets an opportunity to attack, but okay. or whatever. Um, get as far as I can towards um, everyone else. Uh, Following the rope. Yep. You're not blind, so a 17 misses you, right? Correct. Okay, 17 will miss as the... Um, the, the jaw snaps down again and tries to to, to, to pull you back. Uh, Shelt, you see the rope go slack. Really, really slack. Um, the boat lifts forward to a neutral position. What do you want to do? Is it... Is it oh, God, did he get pulled off the rope? I don't know. <sighs> pull it in, pull it in. Um, yeah, I'll start pulling it in. I'll okay. help, I want to help. I'll say without the slack, you get your movement speed of worth of rope. Um, so as many times you want to dash or... Yeah, I'll, you know, bonus action dash, and if it's still not all the way pulled in, I'll dash. Yep, you get another 90 feet of it in, spending your entire turn bonus actions and all to, to pull it in. And it's still in the water. It was it was 600 feet of rope, and now 110 feet of it are on the on the boat. Oh, man. Uh, you did feel a bit of resistance yeah. right at the end. Um, get right at the end there, something... I think I got something, I don't know. If this idiot got himself untied... <laughs> I took a piece of seaweed. Very big piece of seaweed. Uh... Chester. So, Jabo's on the rope, Jabo's out of the mouth. He's, he's swimming your direction, and suddenly the rope starts pulling him tight back to the tight. boat. Cool, cool, cool. He has fly, I have fly. We'll try it. Can we, uh, so we're going to get under the rope and we're going to fly up at a, like a 45 angle. So we're going up and away from it. Okay. Okay. So you're just flying next to the rope. No, no. So I'm getting under the, so put the rope over the shoulder and then fly up at a 45 degree angle. You're trying to help pull j out. Yeah. But I'm also going to try to get out of the water till I can pull him up. Okay. All right. So you, you do that and you will clear the water in your first 50 feet of movement uh, and then the rope gets heavy as you pull and, and jable you feel you're being yanked in multiple directions <laughs> over the course of this turn um you still have 10 feet of movement and dashing if you'd like we'll dash and we're gonna try to pull him out of the water see if okay. we can get him in the air give me a give me a strength check athletics let's, strength straight strength or athletics i'll let you have athletics if you can tell me when what what sport this movement would be used in. Hug of war. Okay. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Not too fast. Uh, 15. Okay. You get him out of the water. Jabo, you get you were yanked um, and now dangling Whoa. five feet above the water as, as Kester. You see him pulling with all his might somehow connected to his ability to fly. What a into beast! <laughs> I never tell Kester to be strong, but Jesus. Damn. And with that, that'll be all all your additional movement as it, it starts to half it. itself. Kia. 
Okay, so I'm going to go in for one more attack. Because while I'm here, might mm -hmm. as well. Pew, pew, go away. So it, <laughs> yeah, uh, still enough. a disadvantage. Um, you can have you can have a normal attack at the moment. Okay. One, one round, because, yeah. Okay. Residual so, light. Yeah. And... That would be a 15. Uh, She's got dark vision, right? I do have dark vision. Uh, dark vision makes pitch black low light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No disadvantage. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you hit scales, and uh, okay. your rapier doesn't penetrate on a fifteen. That's fine. That's perfectly fine because I have fancy footwork now. I'm gonna book it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me double check fancy nice. footwork here. Um, I just, yeah. You just posted it. Yeah. Make a melee attack. Okay, so you you get your flight speed sixty feet away without provoking an attack of opportunity. Yep. As you and I can dash still. Rocket through the air. Are you dashing? Yes. You will <laughs> ply out of the water, pew, right past Jabo, who is kind of dangling in the air, and you feel the pressure of the the serpent behind you as you exit the water. He spends his turn chasing Kia, uh, Jabo. The force of this creature exiting the water knocks you to the side caster give me a uh, strength saving throw uh sure 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 as jaybo gets yanked to the side from the boat you see this huge blue and white serpent head and half of its body reach out of the water in an attempt to chase and and, and bite kia kia you manage to be well past his reach but the jaws are massive as the water slushes away from him. Um, Kester, you lose your grip, and Jabo, you're back in the water. Yeah. At the surface, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enough. Man, you two really leveled up. We got a really strong wizard, and a that rogue can really fly. Nox, <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, I hit you all. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh no! Damn! I still can't do that. I want to do that one day. Um, I guess it's gonna be a guiding bolt. Okay, make an attack. Cause that's all I got. Can uh, fly. That's it. Normal. I can't fly. You said okay. it can fly. Oh, it can fly. That'll hit. Roll your damage. Ooh. Okay. That's actually not a bad roll. Um. 15 points of damage as your uh, a bolt of light smacks the serpent in the side of the head. It lets out a, uh, a loud hiss that echoes. I'm going to go ahead and take that. As it falls back into the water from its from its rise. What the fuck did you do? I didn't do anything. Everything's fine. I think... What the hell is that thing? Don't know. Get here now! And that'll end my turn. Okay. Jabo. Did we, did we skip uh, Joy? She's not been She's on not this on thing. At Joy's not on all. the tracker. Oh, okay. Joy, what would you be doing this whole time? I rolled a four. Or, I, well, I rolled a one on my initiative roll, so I just figured I was in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Looking for those coffee well, beans. Let's say you heard the commotion. What would you be doing for the last two turns? Um, I would have come up to see what was going on. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Sorry about that. That's and okay. just seeing a dwarf and a man just pulling in rope. I would have helped pull in rope. Okay. So we'll say that the rope, your movement speed is 30, is another 120 feet worth of rope. And you now see Nox hit the serpent with the... Um, uh, the guiding bolt. I'm going to put you right after Jabo in the initiative, right where you would have fallen before. Jabo. Uh, in your it, mm -hmm. one moment, in your head, you hear uh, the voice speak again. It says, "You're not supposed to swim if you've eaten recently, honey. Have you had any snacks?" I don't. Eat. Who are you? We're gonna toss this thing as soon as it's on the fucking boat. <laughs> honey, it's you. It's me, your mother. That, don't play these games. Uh, you are playing games. I don't have a mother. I only have a father. <laughs> <laughs> Can 
Any She's not my real <laughs> mom. <laughs> what would you like to do with your turn? All right, you, uh, shove the sword in my bag if I can. Uh, if there's still the ability to get out my bow and shoot one while also moving my movement away. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I was the first one to hit that thing. How was I the first one to hit that? Uh, no, no, I did four J damage. Jabo did hit it. Okay. Yeah, for a whopping four. Four, four damage just wasn't enough minute. to put a dent in it. I, I marked it. It took more than four. It took that too. Okay. Go ahead and uh, make your your bow attack. Okay. Uh... All right. Yeah. Unfortunately. Wait, why is that a? Mm -hmm. Do I have a plus ten? Oh, I guess I do. Okay, never mind. Oh gosh, Jabo with the eleven <laughs> on a natural one. Um, unfortunately, that, that misses. Um, it, it it looks really God, well Archers. aimed. It, it, it flies through the air attacks, straight. And it just misses. You do. Have oh yeah, attacks. I do have a second attack. Hey hey. Hey uh, yeah. Oh, oh wait wait. Actually, can I use my inspiration on the one that I nat want? Absolutely. Okay, we'll call it that I one. Do have the... Okay, and then my second attack. Uh, so this will be the D6 for this one. Okay. And then with the D6. Twelve, and that'll hit. Um, Twelve plus eleven, uh, thirty-two. So you pull two arrows out. Uh, you feel this presence from above readjust your aim as you visualized missing critically. Um, but you strike it home two times. Zero hits deep into the flank of this serpent as it thrashes about in the water some more. Joy, Jabo swimming your direction towards the boat, kind of pulling on the rope and kicking his legs. Um, he's making good progress. What do you want to do? Can I see the? Th I can see the the serpent. You can. I'm gonna cast moonbeam at it. Okay. As a beam of light breaks through the sky and slaps onto the serpent, he's gonna make a Constitution saving throw, right? Yes. What? All right, he gets a 25. Oof. Uh, he'll take half damage, so go ahead and roll that d10. All right, Is one he a shapeshifter? Point of damage. Uh, no, not a shapeshifter. Do, 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 thank you. Do, you said d10? Uh, whatever your damage The damage is right there. You rolled a three. Yeah. Um, so it takes one point of damage as the moonbeam strikes, uh, strikes onto the creature. Oh, uh, Spoopy kind of mentioned something. With Guiding Bolt, would I have needed to use my inspiration? Does Guiding Bolt give uh, advantage on it, the... It gives advantage on the next attack before oh, the end. Of hey, look turn. at that. Nope, yeah, I guess he wouldn't have. Thank you, Spoopy. Right. You Thanks, have your Spoops. inspiration still. Wow. But nice. the line still works. You got your inspiration from Guiding Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Shell. I give you guidance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shit, so... Okay, God. Um, just knocks. I don't just keep pulling him in. Just work on the. Actually, wait. You're better at ranger than I am. I'll pull him in. All right, and I'll shoot. All right, yep. and I'll kind of yeah, look over the look over the rope and pull out my pull out my short bow. Okay. Hope. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, a fourteen won't hit. Yeah. Zero hits into mm. the water near the creature, but the thrashing uh, makes it a hard shot. Yeah, fair enough. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all I really got. Unless you'll let me bonus action, he'll pull some more. Yeah, absolutely. All your movement, you can dash for movement speed. You can use your movement speed for pulling on the rope just, just for this. Okay, so if I can, yeah, use bonus action dash and all my movement speed to help pull in now. Mayo, handing critical hit to the enemy. <laughs> Jesus, Mayo. <laughs> Who's the closest person to the enemy? Jabo. Oh no, Jabo. <laughs> um, Jabo, we loved you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Caster. Uh, yeah. That's... I wish I didn't know that. Kill it before it crits. Kill it before it crits. You what do you can't. want me to do? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Play your character if you're not going to attack. That's fair. Attack. Uh, I, I probably will attack, but don't worry about that. So I guess Jabo's probably way beyond where I was when I pulled him. Um, Jabo is, let's say, right about there now. Uh, in relation, Kia's way over here, uh, just within reach of the creature. 
Oh, okay, just going to reach the creature. Am I close enough to the rope to pull Jabo an extra 60 feet? You can be if you want. If I want to, I will pull Jabo an extra 60 feet. Okay. You get in uh, and you move a little closer. Cool. Uh, just, how close is the creature to me now, actually? Is he within uh, 120 feet? Well, uh, since you went down and grabbed Jabo and you pulled him away, uh, give him another 60 feet. He's 60 feet from you. Oh, he's 60 feet from me. Is he above or below the water? He's in the water. Still. He's in the water. You're Still. kind of flying with your hand on the rope a few feet above the water, pulling Jabo along. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh... Hmm. Do Ten feet, oh well. Mm. Testing is good. Well, first level ice knife. Okay. On the creature, because he's 60 feet away. Go ahead and roll the attack. Quick little attack. Okay, so the ice knife won't hit, but there's a uh, dexterity hey, hold save. On. Hold on, there was a auto crit uh, for Kester. Is that what I'm reading here? What? Okay. An auto crit was given by Jamie. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is that a thing? That's a thing. So uh, this ice thing. knife hits <laughs> critically. Please roll the dice again. Uh, slash roll. Not she the... would just roll an extra d10. Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to do that. That was a terrible roll. So the Abyss Mayo um, has happened, and it, we are still kind of in the result of that. Uh, uh, six damage and a dexterity save. Six damage and a dexterity save. The creature will fail the dexterity to save, take all 13 points of damage as the ice Extra. explodes on him. Six in to the side of the scale, then explodes and blasts him away. It's been a while. Fuck that thing into you. Uh, yeah. Kia. Yes, exactly. It's size huge. <laughs> that yeah. is its size. Oh. Yes. Got my crossbow. Is that it? Yep. Okay, take your shots. Yep. As Kia flies above the sea. She begins pelting down crossbow shots into the water. A 12, unfortunately, won't hit. Bummer. All right. So at, a, at the 20 initiative... Nox, you hear the anchor begin to rise. Pixie, what are you doing? As the boat lurches forward, the wind catching uh. the sails, the rope goes tight again as Jabo is now being pulled behind the boat. Nice. I'm going. You, Kester, um, get pulled along with it, holding the rope. Kia, you watch as the boat begins to leave behind you. Oh, bye, guys. <laughs> the serpent. What about Kia? Um, what about? Oh, Kia. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Kia's float fl flying over the sea, and the serpent, on its turn, <laughs> gives chase. <laughs> Jabo, you're being pulled along as bait like a fly fish. <laughs> this is a running gun. Let's do it. As the serpent will get its attack. Oh. Question is, <laughs> is the storm still on the horizon? Yes, you're going away from it. Okay, so it's just the serpent right now that we're running from. It is just the serpent you're running from. His bite will be a critical hit. Ooh. Um, you will take 48 points that. of damage. <laughs> I'm up still! I'm oh. up! As he, he, he takes a bite, and you feel Mayo. the teeth crunch into your side, and you feel like if you had flesh to tear... It would, but chunks of wood and leg go poof, flying into the ocean. As you are ripped from his teeth, again with force, as the pixie continues to pull you away. Uh, I'm not feeling great, guys. Why'd you say we can't hear you? Uh. <laughs> Nox. Boop, boop, boop. 60 feet. Okay. No, not even 60 feet, goddammit. 50 feet. Yeah. That's fair. Um, I roll athletics again? I had a better turn. No, I'm joking. Yeah, and you, you end that turn. Um, you end Nox, at the end of Nox's turn uh, 60 feet away, 50 plus 10, away from the serpent. As you see the distance is getting bigger and bigger. Shabo, what do you do? Uh... I think, I think it's more important to heal myself. Uh, so I will use a second level uh, 
cure wounds on myself. Okay. For 15 points, because that might save me, and continue to use my movement. Uh, well, I guess, is my movement even going to be fast enough to even do anything? What, I, what I'll let you do is give me an athletics check to pull, pull. yourself along the rope. And okay. you can use move that many that many feet closer. Any any attempt to swim and you're 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 not like a yeah twenty two feet there you go you pull yourself twenty two feet closer in. Um, at this point, you are a mere twenty feet behind the boat. As your the, the rope is starting to angle heavily now. Up, I really hope uh, the other two catch up to the boat. <laughs> uh, J uh, Jamie or Joy, what would you like to do? Move my. I'm gonna move my moonbeam back onto that serpent. All right. Go and roll the damage. Uh, go and roll it twice because he should have taken it at the beginning of his turn. Seven and two, so nine points of damage uh, over the last uh, couple of rounds. As the moonbeam, he gets away from it, and you can see it burning into the side of its flank, and you redirect it to it. It's trying to avoid the beam now. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to give Jabo 3d6 um, from some, from my Summer Balm. Okay. So that'll be 10. <clears throat> As you pull a uh, quarter of the Summer Balm, and you bring that healing energy in, what is normally pulled from nature is suddenly pulled from the pixies. You see the healing energies surround Jabo and heal him for 10 more points of damage. Right. Interesting. Kester, the boat um, is leaving you. You're about 70 feet behind it now. That's good. That boat's only going to get faster, so we'll dash action to get back on the boat. Okay. Yeah, you managed to make it without yeah. problem. Cool. I guess I used the last remaining movement to pull Jabo? Sure. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. you can throw him in another, uh, let's say, 10 feet. Sure. As he start, his feet start to clear the water. As everybody now is having to like pull on the rope and kind of use this pulley system, you have kind of a line of people pulling Jabo back in. Kia. Uh, looks like I'm going to dash after the uh, the pixie. All right, same thing. You land with about ten more feet of movement onto the boat. Ooh, I could still shoot at the uh, at the monster. <laughs> yeah, you may actually. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yay, rogues. Yeah. <laughs> and I still get that sneak attack. You do. Unfortunately, 17 doesn't hit. Yeah. <laughs> would, would you still get the sneak attack? Uh, I have rockish, uh, rockish audacity. But there's no one next to it. Swashbuckler. You're not in front of it. You have to be uh, within five feet oh. of it for rockish audacity. Uh, never mind. I don't have that. God, y'all are some rules books people. That's fine. <laughs> it's um, all right. It sorry. somehow misses. It, it, I just really yeah. like the sexy pirates. That's why I know that one by heart. No. <laughs> it, it does. It does miss on a seventeen. You, you watch your, your, you watch the shot connect, but ricochet off the scales. And with that, you watch as the serpent dives back into the water. Uh, it'll take one more d10 on his turn. For the oh yeah, game. that's me. Do, 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 and you do. watch as its tail lashes over the top crest, uh, crest the surface of the water, and it shoots straight back down into the deep. I don't, I don't think I want to fight that anymore. Yeah. God. Yeah. So what did we get, Jabo? Oh, oh this, this, this really, really shiny sword. As you pull it out, yeah, um, this. you hear, is that any way to treat your mother? <laughs> and nobody else oh, but, oh, but Jabo. Um, you all see mm -hmm. a blade made of scales, blue and white. Blue on the edge, white on the inside. A uh, guard and pommel made of uh, the look of a purple and yellow coral reef. Wrapped, not in leather for the handle, but looks like seaweed it's um feels like seaweed that's pretty yeah um i just now piece something together and uh i'm already sick of it and i <laughs> i stab it into the boat and leave it there 
Oh. Yeah, Knox is going to oh. pull it up. What the fuck? You don't just stab a sword into a boat. Yeah, you'll <laughs> see in a minute. Uh, <laughs> as you, you pick up the sword, uh, you hear a voice reach into your mind, and it says, um, Have you been cleaning behind your ears? You look a mess, dear. <laughs> what has Mother told you about taking bath? This is the cursed fucking sword. We need to get rid of it. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll take it from Knox. It's cursed. I'm, I'm taking it. <laughs> um, as you take hold, uh, the voice hits your head, and it says, um, oh, "Your nails look horrible, dear. Have you not been taking care of your fingertips? No man's ever gonna want to marry you if you don't take care of your fingers." Oh, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, <laughs> Knox, did you identify it? Uh, no, we still haven't gotten a pearl. I was supposed to get one in the last city, but then there was a tidal wave. <laughs> we'll get one later. <laughs> well, someone will take a... If we really need to know what to do, someone's going to take a sacrifice and spend an hour with it. I'll spend an hour with it, since I'm pretty much the only person who can use it. Uh, I could use it. Dex. 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 Also strength. Dex. <laughs> Intelligence. Your strength. Uh, 14. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'll hand it back over. <laughs> to who? To, to Nox. uh, Nox, yeah. Okay. So if this isn't properly helpful, we just chuck it into the ocean, right? No! It's better in the ocean. It looks cool, but no, oh, God. We, uh, could I ask, don't think... we could ask Stephen if he has a buyer. Oh, give it to Steven. Because Steven was selling arcane artifacts, so mm -hmm. he might know some people. Steven that also want a sword that mm -hmm. does All something. Fails, we give it to S Snitch. It's Snitch, right? Uh, it is. Yeah, it's it snitch is snitch. 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 All else fails, we give it to Snitch. I mean, maybe we should know what it is. Before I'm gonna we, figure out what it is. It's it. a pretty sort of annoying talking woman thing. What does it talk about, Jabo? I guess thinks it's asked. my mother. Oh, so my I references. Right now, Did somebody so... cast anything? Identify or? We don't have the pearls for identify, so. Okay. It's actually just gonna sit next to it and for an hour. Okay. Um, Touch cool. it for an hour, which means it'll speak to him. For an hour. <laughs> and it, and it, will, it will occasionally, <laughs> although I'm not going to speak to you for a straight hour. Think um, over, overbearing you, mother. Can I roll a wisdom save to not, you know, <laughs> just die? Chuck it into the ocean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let me see a, let me see a wisdom save. All right. So oh, that's wow. a good wisdom save. He's used to his mother doing the same damn I, thing. You ever go to visit home after being away for a while and you're like, after a week, five days, three days, you're just, I'm done. I'm ready to go back home. Everybody ever done that? Yes, all the time. That's what it feels no, like after like... five minutes. Um, <laughs> it does. It will. It will talk uh, to you occasionally. It does seem to be an overbearing mother, and it is called the Sword of the Serpent Mother. <laughs> it oh, is a good. plus two long sword, and it shines a bright light underwater, as if the light spell has been cast on it. That's really good. That is really good. <laughs> But at what price? Well, I think it's meta-wise, it's more of a price at the DM. It requires yeah. a tuning. Oh, it requires oh. a tuning? Cool. Requires I don't a tuning. Know what happens? We aren't attuned to anything, so. I'm attuned to something. I have a cloak of protection. Oh. Well, you mean you get three attuned slots? Yeah, I know, but is it worth It'll it? Be fine. It might be. You can try. Great time. All right. Well, it's good for underwater. Is that it? It thinks. Did someone say it thinks it's your mother? I oh yeah. It. You just see like twitches all over. <laughs> it. <laughs> it it, it thinks it's your mother too, huh? It thinks it's everyone's mother. Yeah, kind of like that storybook, uh, that little play we used to watch growing up. Are you my mother? Well, it's the opposite. It's like I am I your mother. You. <laughs> That's weird. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. <laughs> also, I guess things were different 500 years ago. Um, Maybe people really I ended up. I don't it? remember that one. Joy? 
you notice the storm while this while he was spending his short rest the storm behind you not chasing you anymore but it did seem to get bigger for a while before stabilizing you're not putting all that together now guys the storm the storm isn't chasing us or anything anymore but look it's still going well, that's a good thing. We could just leave it alone. I've had enough sea adventure already. Hmm. Now that it might be trying to keep us away from there. Where is there? Suggesting we go through the storm? Navigate, navigator or DM, what is that place? That's right around the island. Sorry, the, um, the air whole area, this is kind of, it's in the middle of the sea between Steelport and the islands. Um, you have now been traveling south to get away from the storm, and you're starting to pass the islands on the horizon. Oh, we, we need to go a little further to the left and get closer to them. Do you the captain? Yes, but I've been working on this monstrosity <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> It's like I am driving. Please don't crash. I won't crash. She won't crash. Got us pretty close last time. No, we were fine. She's just daring, that's all. Exactly. <sighs> Nothing bad. So, with that, we're going to take our break of the afternoon. So, ladies and gentlemen, <gasps> we have found the Sword of the Serpent Mother. Uh, it's very uh, concerned make sure you brush your teeth and floss and we'll be back in 10 minutes I already did mother <laughs> uh. I love this sword it's amazing
it's not the government. <laughs> but if it's it a was, regulated porn site. Wait, the government is regulating what? Oops. <laughs> that gov is just like the Susan G. Komen Foundation. I, I think I think this was all live. This is perfect. Hey guys, oh, guys. Casey's dancing. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's been Bye. live for a while now. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Dot gov. <laughs> They're having trouble finding this site. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was sitting here like, quick, oh, there's something yet. stupid in the last three seconds you have. Here's how this goes. I say, all right, guys, calm down. We're about to go live. And I go 10, 9, 8. And I just get quiet. And then they wait until about the two seconds. I'm still counting in my head. They wait until about the two seconds mark, and they start going, boobs.gov. <laughs> what? Apparently, apparently, Larry had to test out their, their pornography filter at the school, and boobs.com is the go-to pornography test. And that's how we got there. Um, of course, every, every part of me, I'm glad there is an official, like, imagine being there. You're like, all right, hey, guys, we're going to go ahead and use uh, the filter test website, boobs.com. And you don't want to be the guy's like, actually, if you really want to test this thing, I got a list. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through them all. <laughs> number by number. Number by number one dot com. Whitehouse dot com. Uh, Goat dot se. Onzo dot com. <laughs> all right, so there ladies and gentlemen, no welcome. Of goats today. This is on. This is by the way. This is on YouTube. Eventually, this is gonna last forever. <laughs> I, I I really don't care. <laughs> If, if we get famous enough that I can be embarrassed of it, I'll be too busy with my money. <laughs> That's fair. What um, if you're meme famous? That'd be fucking bad. Because then you can't do anything with it. <laughs> but hey, at least you can steal it, Trevor. Sure. Oh yeah, I could steal it. You're right. <laughs> All right. So. Meme theme. Wait, I was looking away. Did you just dab? No, I was oh, doing no, this. He... No, I'm, I'm interrogating Trevor, because I looked away, and I saw a blur of movement that was Trevor's oh, screen. No, 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 I did not dab, but I will for you now. So, <laughs> oh, god damn it. I don't know if I've told- I've probably told you guys the dabbing story. Yes. But and I don't know if I've story. told the audience. Um, I have dabbed once or twice on my stream. Very rarely. But, you know, being funny, in the mood, whatever brings a dab on. You can say ironic all you want, but everybody's doing ironically. <laughs> and for the annual um it's like a skit video night at my university the freshmen make fun of the sophomores sophomores make fun of the juniors the juniors make fun of the seniors seniors make fun of uh everyone and everybody makes fun of their instructor uh they they went through hundreds of hours of my twitch like, they had hundreds of hours of just whatever they're doing, whatever they're doing in life. They were just watching and fast-forwarding, maybe one time speed, whatever, two times speed, whatever. And they found the one time that, of me dabbing. And that was it. It was just a video of me dabbing. And then, like, you know, that edit where they make it, they play it over and over. Like, on top of each other. Now there's three of me dabbing. Now there's nine of me dabbing. Like, whatever it was. Uh, it was good times. So That's amazing. But we're playing D&D, &D, and I just took over with the dabbing story. It's all right. I'll never make that mistake. Dabbing? <laughs> it's 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 kind of freeing. It feels um, liberating to be that goofy. Just do one, Kyle. Just I can't dab. dab anymore because last time I dabbed, I hit an old man in the face. So. <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> what? That's why I don't dab. Just t -pose. I'm just always afraid old men will apparate in your room if you dab. <laughs> this imagination, <laughs> like... You know the story of you I used to dance once and then someone died because of it. Like, that's what that reminds me of. I think the lesson here is we take shorter breaks and then we talk. On camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cranky Dab once on his YouTube channel. I'd love to see that. If you could give me that time stamped video, I'd love to watch it. So, um, or the whole video, I'll just watch it all. Um, we're There's playing. There's a 98 year old uh, guy, he plays RuneScape. Um, and playing GNG! I was Sorry. right there. We were pulling it back in. I was so <laughs> close. We're all going to be that old plane. I was games. quiet. All right. So you know, every time someone tells a cool story, somebody else wants to tell it. It just goes on forever. Um, we'll have a hangout night before I leave. I might need a couch to surf on. I'll take bid, opening bids now. Um, 
Yeah, I need, I need, I need, a, I need a couch to surf on in March if anybody's got one. Just throwing it out there. So you have way too many people in your house already. It's true. <laughs> but we hosted two. Oh, you did. Oh, you might. I might take you up on it. Um. Anyway, that being said, you clear past the storm, the whirlpool, the no sign of the serpent in the water. The waves return to normal and the storm continues to disappear as the islands scan the horizon to your left. Deep and thick of jungle forest, it screams of Sandalus. Does it look like there's any tsunami damage on them? You would have to get closer to find out. You may, easily enough, if you'd yeah. like. Okay. So as you get closer, um, it does look like there's tsunami damage. Uh, comma, it does not look like there's as much tsunami dam damage as there should be. Um, fresh growth and trees. It's Actually, give me a nature check. Anybody who's trained in nature. You got it, boss. Nope. Anybody else That's trained in nature? Role for me. I, mean, I have nature. a role in nature. Not but, even uh, the ranger. Not trained. <laughs> oh, too bad. I can't All right, so guidance. Joy. Yeah, I mean, so when a tsunami comes through a heavily wooded area, it's it's obviously um, it, the trees and stuff slow down a bit. The imp impact and the damage is worse. Um, it's this side of the island seems least affected it looks like the tsunami came from the other side of the island and pushed through it also looks like fresh growth fresh blooms less than a day old trees and vines already kind of intelligently repairing some of this damage um and that's from i guess you guys would be kind of far out to see that in that much detail um, but spending some time here, spending a good part of the afternoon a few hundred feet from the shore making these observations, that's what you'll get without going closer and deeper landing. But the damage, I can tell the damage is across the whole island, like it didn't start on the, from the island. Um, no, it does not look like the like this particular island in these series was an epicenter. Uh, Ollie will relay that, that, because that seems like the most important bit of information. All right, I guess we keep moving. Yep. To the mainland. Where would you like to go? Well, okay, so you told us that this pink dot was us. Right. Where are we at right now? So, yeah, let me go. Yeah, I'll go and move that. Um, we're going to say <laughs> right there, just off then the shore of that island. Follow this island chain down. Now, and... we've got to be very specifically careful, because there are pirates in these islands. Mm -hmm. Fair. Yeah, this, oh, was this where that one guy was? This is a pretty massive island. This is um, California and an island. Oh you know god, does it suck as much as California, too? I'm always I mean, surprised at how different California is from the rest of the world. They, they're their own fucking place. Good or bad or indifferent. Hey, Spoopy, with the gift sub number 64, my favorite Nintendo. <laughs> it's not really my favorite Nintendo. The Switch is amazing. God, it is. But 64 oh, appara was. Apparently, the Nintendo just passed the 64 in terms of sales. So are we headed north, guys, and then going back around south. San Luis We're south. to get to south. Fortic? We're, going We're south. following the south. Why are we going south to get to the library? Yeah. Okay. We're we're right here. I'm sorry. We're right here. Yeah. yeah. Follow the islands down. Uh huh. Like and this. And then and then you want to hike through Sanalis's territory to get to the library. That's be perfect. Fair. That's what you want to you, you want to see. Sanalis, I've been right? trying to get us to Sanalis's territory for weeks. Nobody wants to go. <laughs> I want to go to the library, and all of a sudden, we're off on a jungle adventure. I see how it is. I mean, thank you, Cranky, entirely... for the two thousand bits. You were in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're my Valentine's cranky. <laughs> <laughs> we still have one more episode in between us and Valentine's Day. Yeah, the 20th. The, the 11th. No, our 20th episode. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> what? Hey, I was doing the same thing you were, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Store, Please Connor. We're both uh, Snitch, Snitch catches on. And he goes, I, I don't really... Um, if you're just going to go into San Luis, can we just drop me off on the nearest not San Luis Island? Not a big fan of San Luis? I, mean, he's, I think he's been there the most recently. Oh, absolutely. Um... It's not a nice, it's not a, it's not a safe and nice, wonderful, lush jungle that you know. Maybe they they told me it was. It's 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 a fucking monstrous, dangerous. Do you see this scar? And he lifts up his shirt, and there's a, uh, three slashes across his chest. And he's like, "That was a cat." <laughs> not a, not like like a not, cat? yeah yeah absolutely like if this was a tiger, that would be another story. This was a house cat. <laughs> How big was the house cat? Remarkable. Yeah, was, I think it was sarcasm. So yeah, it does look a little rougher than when I left it. And it Maybe does. It really don't. does. Maybe we don't go through the lush, jungly forests. Walk up the middle. I'm saying. We could also. Sail around. Sorry, sail I'm... around. Make make port. You know, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I mean, then we go. That wasn't on screen, but she was doing the the party the party island. <laughs> yeah, I know. Screen. I know. Oh, let me zoom out. Yeah. Um, oh. Just, just, yes, we, we go down oh, wait, that's here. That's the wrong the wrong we screen. Go to, and then we go me... down here. There we go. <laughs> down here. Yes. <laughs> Actually, wait. Let me check. Hey, yeah. Kester has gotten himself an inspiration. Thank you, Desmodian. Hey. And then noise. we get up here. But, yeah. No, no, that's not the No, path. I'm doing some, I'm doing some routes, all right? Well, all right. that's a long fucking way. If this, I'm sorry. Based off of what Casey has told us, if uh, the length of this island next to us is California, um, then nine uh, nine feet is 800 miles. I think there's actually a scale down here. Is Although there? There is on one of the maps. I Th guess there was, close. and then you guys got rid of it, I think. Yeah. Let me look through my scales real quick. Let me let me tell you in a moment how big something is. I have I have we, we okay. do we did plan notes for these things. Um, I'm just wondering how far it is from the library to the sea. Because that looks like 800 miles. All right, We'd so let's say the California. The all right, so the there we go. I wish I had to click over here now. So from here to here uh, is about 400 miles. 12.6 is uh, approximately. Miles. Approximately, yeah. I'm, I'm doing some, some. I have two maps up, um, and let me show you. So the island next to us is half the size of California. I'm, I'm going to do some middle screen craziness real quick. So I'm going to pull us away from our normal thing. My video is going to be all screwy. But if you look at the stream, uh, you can see, we'll zoom in a bit. And I'll wait. Uh, I have a 400 mile marker right here. And if I were to draw, let's say, a line that was roughly that big. And then move it around the map. I think I can. I think I can do that. Yeah. This just line. Just draw the four hundred mile, and then we can measure it and see how long it is. Yeah. Well, it's just two different maps. The map with the marker, the distance. Right, right. But if you bring the marker over to this map, we can just measure it, and it'll tell us just by measuring it in the roll twenty. Sure, sure, sure. The maps are different scales. Is my only. Oh. I see what you're mind. saying. Uh, some work to put in later. Um, but you can kind of see... Where's my marker? It's right here. I need to select it again. It's going to go away. Okay, there you go. You you kind of see that distance, right? Without getting too picky. It's probably kind the worst do. possible color. Could you zoom out a little bit more? I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. That's 400 mile line. That's 400 miles? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> this map, by the way, when you get into the depths, has all the city names and population centers, and it's quite right. fun. Just leave, sorry, leave that up for like three more seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I will take our time. Okay, so based off of that, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for, right. and for those for those in the chat, I'll let you know that. Uh, What's that? Say? We, have, we haven't talked seven? about it, but Tom's not in the voice anymore because it. I'm not very good at being double DM, uh, so it became him taking notes, um, which he's doing now in the channel anyway. Yeah, I miss Tom. He's a so very looks a, like... very attractive man. I, I don't blame you. Okay, so three point seven. It, that's as close as I can get it. It's probably 3.5 um, or 4 because I cut a corner there. Do you want to just make it the even one foot equals 100 miles? What's that? Do you want to just make it the even scale of one foot equals 100 miles? Oh, yeah. wait, no, we're at 3.5. I lied. Yeah, really. I mean, we're only estimating for now. It's fine. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to click it again. So we'll say 3.5 is 400 miles based. What, what what distance are you currently looking for? Because we'll just ask Tom. It'll get to us later. I'm looking for the distance. Come on, zoom out. Between hitting landfall and reaching the island? Uh, no, between landfall and the library. Oh, okay. That distance. Because that's nine feet. That This map is an artistic render. That great library will take you... Couple of days to get to on foot. Okay. This is the pretty map. You notice that there's a giant steel castle covering thousands of miles up up in the up in the top, but it's not actually <laughs> thousands of miles of a castle. Also, this is not the world's largest ore cut down here in Robad's territory. It's cute though, isn't it? Yeah, that's it's, that's fair, it's... but usually, even on those old maps, the distances are oh absolutely at least somewhat accurate. Couple of so days. Which... In the desert. Guys, hey, hey, Captain. Uh, oh, right. I forgot. That's me. Thanks for sub number 65. We'll be... Uh, where are we going? We're trying to get to the Great Library after we investigate these islands. If these islands are the epicenter, we don't need to go to the Great Library right away. If they're not the epicenter, then we need to go to the Great Library. They're, they're not the epicenter, so... This chain isn't, but there's more islands. Where, where? Further south. But oh. it, it looks like it came from east. Yes, south and east. So yes, this this is south and east. I'll, You've I'll looked you... at one island out of the chain. Give me an investigation check. Anybody who's looking at this thing, or wants to, absolutely to roll some dice because we haven't rolled some dice in a while, like Do twenty I... minutes. I'm going to slap declare... myself with that guidance. Sure. Do I declare inspiration before or after I roll? You can do it after. <laughs> Inspiration's a gift, not a, not a challenge. At least for me. I like 23. Okay. So, anything... I hope you like 23. <laughs> anything above a, above a 15 knows that the tidal wave came from the east of this island, or this, this part of the island. Um, they know that... The damage was reduced by the trees after discussion and looking at it. Um, it came more specifically from the east-southeast of the island. Not a perfect east trajectory. Um, you would have to survey, as Knox is suggesting, more islands and more landmass to assess distance and direction and see if it's equal all the way across. Theoretically, it may have started five feet on the other side of the island. Or 100 feet on the other side of the island, or, or on the other side of the world. It's hard to tell at this moment. Yeah. More data yeah. points. What the floating sky voice said. <laughs> so we're going Just south. skipping past all the arguments. Yes, we're going southeast. Yeah, more islands and check. looking along this island chain. And getting closer to Tiffany's. Oh, we can get some of that bread because we didn't get the shoes we wanted. I know. Um, we, we could also take care of, you know, the ogre that's overwatching the entire fucking town. 
Oni, not ogre. Whatever, he's an ogre mage. I don't know what that is. It's um, another word for Oni. What he's saying is uh, same thing. Hey, uh, guys, uh, we've been arguing for... My uh, Steven voice went out of the way. One second. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, we've been arguing for a bit, but, um... De Minimos, right? South Island, that's what I heard? Yes, that's what I heard as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop it, Stephen. I'm I've never sure had a Minimos has, an, uh, has a library, too. I bet we, we could actually, check the tsunami distance and direction from De Minimos really we well. We actually should take another vote on that. After Body we finish with the island chain, oh, okay. let me sure. finish saying the vote. Wait, is, is one vote getting eaten by more serpents? Because I, I didn't like that so bad. Much. How far away is the next island? Um, so you would be traversing the coast of this island for some time. Uh, a couple of, uh, about a day away. Another d two days away to get mm. and curve around. Okay. It's not a bad idea. Let's keep going island to island, I think. To the bottom of this before we take on any more tasks. And there, you know there was the Rashakas as pirates in one in of the these far, island chains. In the far, far north, which we do not have supplies for. We can stop by. If we want to do that, we'll stop by Jelly Koi on the way out. They'll save up a million. That's not even that's not even a challenge. <laughs> Anyways, I did want to ask. Do we go south or do we go north after we finish with the island chain? Let's, um, let's wait to make that decision till we find out what we are up against on the island chain. Please. That's fair. But I'd like to plan it at least. I say so. That sounded like a party phone agreeing with you. <laughs> okay, so the plan is you're going to go south and, and continue your investigation along the south? Yeah, southeast okay. of the islands. So what we'll say, for the sake of, of time, is this will take approximately three days. Um, for these three days, it's not just staring at the land. So tell me what each of you try to accomplish over the course of this three-day period. And then I will give you your investigation results at the end. After some rolls. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll start. Uh, I'm going to try to work with... So using the data points I have so far, the city, the island we checked, I'm going to continue trying to get a more accurate trajectory of this wave. Because it seems okay. like with each passing time, we're getting a little more accurate. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's that's uh, Caster trying to refigure. You're trying to remap and you're, you're drawing making copies of maps. You're triangulating. You're, you're trying to get precision. Give me a give me an intel a raw intelligence check. Raw intelligence. That's a save. Uh, where are you? There you are. Okay. Uh, I'll use inspiration. Is that not possible on this check? You, you may. Absolutely. Okay. 21. Alright. Noted. Thank you, Caster, with Thank the 21. Thank you. Joy, what are you going to do? I want to try and assess the difference between when I was last in Sanalus's territory and like see if I can't figure out the rate of change. Like mm -hmm. how exponential is it? Ex okay. I can't okay. say that word. Go ahead and give me a straight Delta R check. is the rate of change. Switch check. Um, the intelligence check. Just a straight intelligence roll. Oh yes, Booby. We still have we still have games and and games to talk about. Not one. But a nineteen. Nice. It's a good thing I roll both. <laughs> um. All right. So, Jabo, what do you do? Uh, can you ask someone else? I'm still thinking on that. Kia, what do you do? Um, I'm gonna talk to Snitch and see if I can get more information on the islands. Since he was, he has firsthand accounts, okay. weather patterns, that sort of thing. Um, you say say that again. Sorry. Basically, uh, firsthand accounts from Snitch about the islands in general, since he spent time there. I vaguely pay attention to okay. that. Okay. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, this is yeah. a this is a conversation. <laughs> okay. How do you how do you do this? How's this scene work out? When when you try to catch him? Um 
I'll bring him some drink. Okay. Get him to loosen up his tongue a bit via drink. And just, and just like, you know, just like ease into the questions. Like, so you spent time on the island, right? Mm, yeah, I just, about a, about a year or more traversing the, the terrain. Times kind of, it goes, it never snows there, so you, I, it was kind of hard to tell the, you know, if I was in winter. Always sunny in San <laughs> Understandable, I spent a short time myself on an island similar. Oh, how was that? Tell me about your experience on the island. Um, I killed a giant crocodile. Oh, hey, look at that. He's just a monster. Uh, and um, there was like this other giant lizard thing. We avoided that. Um, almost killed a giant cat. I was starting to hope. I was starting to worry that you were just into killing greenskins, but uh, cats. No, no. Let's murder some cats. Fuck those things. <laughs> I know, right? I hate cats. <laughs> been scratching. This got infected. <laughs> I, you know, I had... I had a fever for a week. Same. I had that same problem. Um, also the leeches. Do you know they just paw on their own shit? <laughs> disgusting, isn't it? But there were leeches in the water. Oh yeah, avoid, leeches. avoid, avoid, avoid yeah. the water in the jungle. So um, yeah, boil it and what, what are we doing in the jungle? Um, I washed up there. Does, I mean, you wash out of like school, but what do you mean you washed up? As in, my ship got attacked and I ended up on one of an island similar. Oh, that sounds that that's a very familiar. Tell me about that. How'd that happen? The the ship or the um the attack. Oh yeah, no, it's it's, it's a very familiar story. Fuck fuck ship attacks, right? Yeah, definitely yeah. fuck ship. Well, I mean, don't fuck them, but fuck them. If you could, if you could just actually fuck a ship and make little ship babies, <laughs> I would. Right, you gotta hold on, mother. What did you but, put um... in this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I I made it a little stronger. Sorry, I didn't know how strong he liked it, so I went on the safe side of stronger. We we don't we don't we don't we don't we don't, we don't talk too often, Kia. You you're curious about Sandless's island. What do you what do you want to know? Oh, what's the weather like there? I mean, I when I when I spent time on the island, was it a little um, unpredictable? Would you say it was about the same? Hmm. Wet weather patterns. Um. You're right. Yeah. No, they weren't very. They're very very um chaotic. I think there's an energy about the place that invites change and the thing about change is when when two storm fronts or two temperature fronts meet it causes kind of a yeah it, it storms a lot is what i'm trying to say yeah no and so did you get caught up in any of them like any that could have possibly con maybe created like say that hurricane we saw or maybe a tsunami no, none, none, nothing, nothing like this. But I've never seen anything that shifted all of reality a couple of feet to the direction that we're currently investigating. Okay. And if we have to make land, what should we look out for? Other than giant cats and... I mean, there's also those man-eating plants. I don't know if you ran into any of those. Yeah, no, there's a few. I okay. mean, goblin. I I would say goblin eating, um, but they never succeeded. Those motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they really care what they're eating. Yeah, meat like, 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 like you know, sentient meat. Just all just meat. Any any. I mean, it just sentience. Uh, they ain't yeah. that much sentient stuff walking around in those in those woods. The elves are there, um, but avoid them. You know, the elves there. The lighter skinned elves. Oh yes, yep. Not you. I would probably not be welcome. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, north. More north. Around. I lived on a ship. That's Ships aren't north, Kia. I mean, <laughs> the ship came from the north. It was up in the north, and then sometimes we were the, in the east. I'm the Kia of the north. <laughs> <laughs> and, and with that, the conversation won't ever come back to anything more fruitful, but... Um, you do feel like he trusts you a bit more and he enjoyed your company. Okay. That's good. Shell. You're muted. Three days in a boat. 
I think I'm having a similar issue with Larry's having to figure out what I what Shulk could do for three days on a boat. We can come back to you. Uh, yeah, I've got mine. You do? Okay. Maybe you'll help yeah. inspire something in me. Yeah, okay, Bo, what do you do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to spend my time actually scouring the boat uh, wherever I can for anything that maybe Anthony's might have left behind uh, or, or uh, Durant. Um to help know more about my brother and father. Okay. Okay. Things Anthony might have had on his person that he left. So there is a captain's quarters. Has Knox, has anybody has anybody moved into those? No. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. So give me give me an investigation check. Where's it? Okay, 15. Um, so his quarters are, are pretty plain. There was not a lot of time to place personal effects or, or build up. You think that maybe if you had traveled the seas for a few years, this would feel more homely, but it's it's kind of empty and bare. Um, there is, inside, there's a trunk, a bed, an end table, and a an armoire, if you will, kind of built into the wall. Um and then a small desk. No chair, but there, there's a desk. Uh, among among them, the armoire has some clothes in it, but they're thrown in on, on uh, into the bottom of it. They're not hung. There's no hangers. They're just kind of a pile of clothes. And they're, they are Anthony's clothes. They're casual wear for the most part. Some more flamboyant wear that he's picked up uh, and a couple of pairs of of nice shoes belts um some scarves clothes the desk is is empty doesn't look like he spent much time on it especially without the chair going over to the chest uh open up the chest and you, you look at it's another pile of, of clothes but as you sort through it there is and make sure i do this right um let's so pull one second notes i need my notes in the chest there is his loot uh it's stringed loosely um, but it seems to be placed very carefully, with great care. The clothes around it, less laundry and more cushioning for his loot. He was very concerned about it. Um, there's a small box. Inside the box are a few rings. They're decorative. Gold. Uh, there's a gold band with red gemstones. A white band with a single red gemstone, a gold band with no stones, and then a gold band with one green gemstone. Um, excuse me, plus two more green bands, two more gold bands, and then one more gold band with the with a green gemstone. Um, just a collection of rings, and many of these you saw him wear interchangeably on his hands from from day to day. Uh, Let's see. And then a scabbard. Just an empty, plain leather scabbard. And beyond that, the rest of the room, empty drawers, cabinets. The bed, not made, never been. Uh, just kind of a blanket on top of uh, whatever passes for a medieval mattress on a, on a fantasy world boat. Uh, what are you looking for particularly? Any insights? Uh, books or written material. Okay. Um, but one thing I do want to say is uh, after I noticed the loot and the jewelry, I, I tuck it back away just how it was, as, as okay. comfortably as possible, close the chest, and etch into the chest, we wait for your return, Captain. Etch in the chest, we wait for your return, Captain. Okay. Mm -hmm. and Accidentally stabs through the box. 
Um, okay. Nope. You actually absolutely able to carve that in. Um, no books here. Uh, nothing. Nothing sticks out that's unusual. Mm. Past that. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, dear diary. Haha. <laughs> I was in school one day, and this lady showed up. Um. And they got me to leave. Um. I can't really give you the the like face or the race or what they were wearing, but it was a lady. It was a lady. <laughs> no, I, 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 realistically, check this room later once the deputies had time to to flush out the story <laughs> and get a better investigation check. Um, all right, nope, yeah, you you spent some time kind of delving in trying to understand the captain, but um, just not enough time has passed for him to leave a real imprint on this boat yet. All right, so next up is Shelt. All right, so I realized, since the ship got bigger, did we ever actually spend some time properly mapping out, like, a new inside to the ship? Uh, Nox tried that, and the boat ignored him. The inside, if you're talking about, like, the map we normally use for this boat? Well, uh, I mean, like, did, did we ever, like, really, like, use the space better now that it's been done? Oh, no, no. no every, everything is, like, 10% more space in it is what it comes down to. Every square on the map is now an 11-foot square instead of a 10-foot square. Is what it equates to. Alright, so all... Because I know that, like... The space probably could be used better. I don't know. I, I, I'm not looking at the map. I haven't looked at the map in a while. But it's a bigger ship. We could probably fit more stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Or at least, like... If you took some time so, to do an overhaul or a redesign. Yeah, so just spend the three days. There's nothing else to do, so... Might as well spend some time musing over that. Maybe checking in with Knox and the others every once in a while to get their opinions. Okay, go ahead and give me a wisdom check. What's up, Knox? I was going to say, that's also what I'm doing, is trying to work on rearranging the ship. Okay, so two you can work together. Go ahead and both of you give me a wisdom check. Uh, would you like a carpenter's tools instead, or just wisdom? I'll let you do the carpenter tools. We don't get to use those too often. With wisdom. Measure... You know, twice cut once. Okay, so the two of you spend your time on the ship rather than the investigative problem, but you're looking to be more efficient. You're looking to utilize your space better. You you find that if you... I'm just trying to stop it from being a box on the front since Chaos Pixie doesn't want to listen. <laughs> it's 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 aerodynamic in all things in all the ways that it's 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 water dynamic in all the ways that matter hydrodynamic in all the is ways it? that matter you, yes. the way you've told us it's not it is don't worry about it okay <laughs> it, it 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 is it is perfectly perfectly fine um but what you do find with those checks are ways to build with additional wood um smugglers cubbies ooh, ooh. You found ways that you can hide objects or things inside the ship. As long as it's not magical detection, you're pretty sure that you could hide it from normal searches. Well, we got plenty of extra wood. And then if we got some lead, we could lead line that. So Kester always tells me lead lining interferes with some magical stuff. I mean, how much lead do you think we'll need? Uh, well, we'll have to figure out how many boxes we how many of these containers we can make and then make some measurements because i mean thanks to chrome <laughs> yeah i true. can turn gold into lead i know it's supposed to be lead into gold but <laughs> <laughs> just line it with gold coins and then turn it into lead <laughs> oh. um if you want to if you want to do that i'll i'll tell you that um each cubby hole will be a two by five foot space. And if you want to line that with coins, I'll Wait, let you two by five foot by what? Because unless these are just flat spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two by two by two by five. Okay. Um I will let you line that for 150 gold coins. Which is really cheap, but we'll go with it. You can All really right. do that with silver coins if you were really being. Or copper. Or copper. Go get a money changer. 
Uh, the problem is it needs a gold cost, and I don't know how much lead costs in this world. Yeah, that's fair. So we'll say, we'll just keep it at that price. And you can make four of those. <laughs> two by two by five, four. Four times. On left to right in the in different parts of the ship. The hull, right. the, the cargo space. And that's what, that's what no. you find. Great, fantastic smuggler sections. You just need uh, approximately 25 gold worth of worth of wood. Oh, we got plenty of that. Yeah, we got so much wood. Because we all um, carry it as much let's as we Let's see. Could. 25 divided by 2. Yeah, screw it. I'll do some minor holes and, to bring it up. Okay. So, subtracting 12 critical holes. Bring us down to 43. And subtracting 2 minor holes, bringing it down to 8. Bring it to a total of 25. Awesome. So, yeah, whenever you have something in there, particularly you want locked away, you just let me know what it is whenever it matters, and we'll move on. Kester and Joy. You spend those three days working together, taking making your observations based on Joy's knowledge of plant growth and life and acceleration, and, and Kester's taking in the angles. And with those checks, I'm going to move your lines around. Let's see if I can do this without redrawing them. Uh, nope, I can't, so let's redraw them. And instead, let's redraw it not as two lines, but as a square. As you look and you begin taking measurements, you notice minute changes in degrees, and you start counting the hours of travel by the, the pace of travel, and you're looking at the path of the tsunami from different directions, and you notice it's very circular. As if there was a center point in the world where this event happened and pulled in from all directions to itself, which caused the tsunami, from your perspective, to create a cascading curve out. The tsunamis were, were hitting as an ex expanding circle. Oh. So this wasn't a single line. This was a, it's by, like ripples a in bomb a explosion. By your estimation... A chaos there bomb. is a point in the world where a foot and a half of matter disappeared and all the matter in the world shrank in that foot and a half. Holy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulled in the oceans, pulled in the seas, and then caused a tsunami outward from the point of explosion. You spend some time and some days, all these days, doing the math, taking the calculations. Um, they're off a bit. They're not perfect. But you have a sense that that circle... I don't think I can do a circle. You can. Uh, you just you have to hold, like con hold controller all or something. Controller all. Let's try it. Okay, I can, but that's not the circle. So we'll just move it. Is there. So does the library. Oh. Interesting. Good call, Joy. You were right. I mean, I could do this. Larry, but actually. you you still Wait, know Larry's? that it's the library. Yeah. It's okay. I don't want to admit Jabo was right. <laughs> He's not here to hear me, so it's fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, so we go in. Are we still going to dumb minimos? Uh, that was the question I asked earlier that no one wanted to answer. All right, votes. Who wants to go to the minimo and who wants to go around? Give me a second, Kia. <laughs> And who wants to go around Sanalis? The Minimo? Uh, nope. I, Sanalis doesn't work so well for me. Um, <laughs> that's not, let's not do uh, that. I, I propose oh. option three. We go to Crolome and go around it. You want to travel oh, we... on land? Yeah, sure, that's why not? That's such a terrible idea. We just go around, uh... That's that's a that's a long distance to get away from the pixel. I don't know. We just go right here. Uh, We're traveling through desert. Yeah. We That's could get some pumpernickel to to bread on the desert. way. I mean, unless you guys want to go a complete... So you can go that distance on foot, or you could go... On a faster ship. Without still desert. around the world. I mean, still it's, around it's, the only, it's only about three weeks to go around, guys. So let's, we could just See, do that. Exactly. My, Boats now, are faster than I thought they were. K Kister, my, my issue that I have at the end of the day is getting that far away from the pixie. I did not think about that. That is a fair point. Anywhere you look at it, we're going to be days away from the pixie. 
we're gonna be putting it in the gods' hands. I just would rather have less days away from the pixie, you know. Right. No, the, the, the more time this pixie has someone on it and is not by itself, the better. That is very true. Nicely. And it might be an option to have the pixie walk, but I don't want to take that option. I'm sorry that I even said it out loud. Joy that also <laughs> sounds terrifying. Did you say the pixie could walk? I well, probably. Not... This thing. <laughs> ugh. Whoa. This was a terrible idea. Joy can hear us. Joy, can you tell uh, the ship to walk? I mean, I could. That's amazing. Do we really want to go walking across the country? No. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. We're trying to hide the magic ship, right? We're trying to hide a magic ship. Let's let it grow legs and walk across the land. It's pretty fun. It's okay. The ship's divide. No one cares. I just realized this is like three weeks journey. Is it three weeks of journey no matter which way we go, basically? It's, it's three weeks journey to walk inland here. Well, and it's probably weeks. a month's journey. Let's do three after weeks. To go from the other desert. Let's do as much of it on the ship as we can so I can grow some watch root. Uh, you know what? This thing's I would like to take care of too. So we don't. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Party? Uh, Party. Okay. Party. Can we, can we stop by Jellicoy? Because Jellicoy is kind of on the way. Could, could we stop by and see if the. If Tiffany's is re I never got pump vertical. It's true, we never did. We ordered it's, it. This is that's very important. Pump vertical is very important. It's not all it's snuffed up to be, but we can go to Jelly Core. I mean, it's just like I ordered pump vertical. We could check on that thing. And then like I, I, I ordered pump vertical and then someone set the place on fire. And now it's been like a while, but like I still haven't gotten my pump vertical. Do, do you think we'll have to pay for it? Did we already? I forget. Did we already pay for it? Never Let's did. just go to Jelly Corey. I don't think we paid for it. Okay. But Jelly, maybe I should stay on the ship. Uh, uh, no, uh, that'll be fine. I don't know. Going if you... on, there's, there's some, there's some uh, friends, enemies, people in Jelly Corey that they said don't come back. So maybe I will stay on the ship. But did they, we also Blackfish not want us back? Blackfish said come back later. We could also probably oh. deal with him. We also Probably. won't be there for very long. Just like stop in, get some pumpernickel, leave. Yeah. Uh, also, <laughs> and, like, so like Kester, if you're surprised because we're running low. Kester, if you're really worried, like, do you think you could fit yourself in a two by two by five hole? Maybe we could drop Steven <laughs> off at Jelly Coin. If, if I tried. Yeah. What's up with a two by two by five no, hole? No, 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 no. I don't have good oh. Jelly Coin memories. Let's not, let's not, let's not do that. That's bad. <laughs> okay, then come up, pop your nipple with us, and we'll drop you off somewhere else. I mean, I thought I was your cook, guys. You trying you to are. drop me off? I no, I just want to make sure you make good food. No, no, no. You're completely fine, Steve. How, how about how about you teach me some of that, like, you know, fighting thing you guys do? And I yeah. could teach you how to use a sword if you'd like. Ooh. Probably not. I guess you have six. You have six choices. There are six unique fighting styles. What would you which, like to learn? Which, which which one uses that mama sword? <laughs> there is seven. I recommend I, the little guy. I I point, I point at three different people. Ooh, you've got options, Stephen. We can also I mean, wait, no, more, I know how to use a sword like that. In theory. I forgot about <laughs> snitch. Four people. I point at four people. I'm. I'm filled with too much uncontrollable rage. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen the barbarian. Stephen the barbarian. I, I don't really want a, an angry pothead on on board, guys. Hey, that's not fair. I'm, I've cool tempered exactly. <laughs> you you were still doing stitches voice for Stephen. <laughs> it's. Okay. I'm running out of voice right now. We're... <laughs> Stitch is a very okay. difficult vocal breach. Well, um, yeah, you have options on who could teach you how to sword. Oh, oh, oh. I could oh, also oh. teach you how to use a crossbow. Could, could. Nah, I mean, that's, that feels boring. What about the, uh, the, the magic? You don't want to learn that. Hey! <laughs> no, I'm, that's I'm offensive! Saying... No, not no, it's not an offensive thing. It's a do you really trust Stephen using magic? 
he was selling magical artifacts. Sure. And how did that go? I, we I mean, I made a profit. I could teach you how to make plants grow faster, maybe. What about that one where you turn into like an animal? That would, I, I mean. Oh, sure. whoa, whoa, whoa. what about the one where Jabo doesn't have to sleep? Can I do that one? No, that's uh, the thing. Uh, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, what do you I, mean? I, I'm special. Jabo J doesn't sleep? <laughs> Jabo's, Jabo's a Warforged, do you call yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm a warforged. Jambo's a talking armor rack. Um, so we That's why he doesn't need to sleep. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Can I not become a talking armor rack? No. I mean... uh, maybe with the right people, but uh, uh, I've never <laughs> met anyone who can make people into warforgers. I, I thought yes, that you was... did. You yeah, met wait. that one. <laughs> uh, but, uh, are you saying I'm people before I was a warforged? I mean, there's no proof. Ooh, were you? It's possible. There's, there's a lack of flesh, so it's a very unlikely. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like you somebody should you... roll a history check for that. I'm somehow more disturbed by the idea that he wasn't a person before. He <laughs> like, I don't know. Because uh... here's the thing like, someone just turning a person into a warforged, like, that's just just making a person into another thing. Like, people do that all the time. Like, you do that, man. Just search, right? Like, turning a person into another thing, that happens all the time. But the idea that someone just, like, made a person is, like... Do you, do you program... Cool do you program the, like... Like, figure out the personality on do your own? Like, like do you make... Did someone choose to make j this personality? Was it just... Like Stop. the shape of we're like done. the crystal. I, I no, we're done. You know, the other option is they just—he wasn't a person before, but they stole uh, an elemental, like, <laughs> being. Do you I, have? I, 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 I want. I don't want to know about my past anymore. Did, did he have to you grow guys, up? Like, no. If, if someone made Stop, like just please. Made, was there like baby Jabo? He's was made he out smaller, of or was he this that, size? That's actually a good point. Like, a baby. Steven walks up to you, j and he grew up yeah. out of the ground. And just <laughs> hugs you. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. Uh, you you want to play, play some games? Get the hell I out of here. I, I, the, my, my first thought was like, let's play some Nintendo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. He, he, yeah, play some marbles. I got, I got some marbles, yo. All right, let's go do that. I don't want to hear any more of this. So All right, let's get underway. So I know we're ending the conversation, but I just want to put a quick thing out there. We're going to a really big library. We should look it up. Yes. After, after, after Jambo walks away, I do turn to Kester and I'm like, is it like a th do you think that's a thing people could do? Like, just make a like, just make a person? Could you just... Is that why? Huh. Like, like, what if that's the thing? Like, what if, I want to make your mama joke. Oh, God. <laughs> Is is a man God didn't create, and that's why arcane is like illegal. Oh, so library <laughs> top of the I list. Think, I think I'm gonna make a list of all the things we should look up while we're at the library. This library is gonna be. Oh, I already have quite the extensive list, Joy. I think that's the most profound thing she'll ever said. <laughs> you Joe, what were you breaking into? <laughs> Did, did you find something hidden that Steven had? I feel like if Steven had something hidden, he would have already used it. Someone no. really needs to give Shelt the birds, bees, No, dog. no, Spoopy. Shelt understands <laughs> the birds and the bees. Shelt's problem is the, the trees and the carpenters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's Knox and Jabo. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yes. That's so amazing. It only takes you another two days, day and a half, barely. No, you travel for three days, yeah, one day, to get to Jellycoin. The familiar docks on the wharf and the marketplace come into view as it's beaming with life. It's as you remember it, and... You make your dock. What do you do? So uh, quick. Is it morning? Supplies. Oh, excited! Yes, guys. Fresh in the morning. Bre breakfast at Tiffany's. Um. No, breakfast last time Tiffany's. I caught on fire. Maybe we should go at lunch. I'm. 
gonna go see who the new mayor is. Um, I'll well, I, for breakfast. I'm, I'm sure it's Blackfist. And actually, I was gonna mention, I would like to make a stop by Blackfist since you know I used to work with him and stuff. Mm, fair. May us and then Tiffany's. I mean, we don't all have to go see Blackfist together. I mean, but yeah, if you want to, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you you can't come. Uh, but yeah, then Tiffany's. But then also we're gonna. Like Knox mentioned, to get some actual like rations mm -hmm. for the ship for our, some, like, our um, voyage. Emergency cloth. We should sales. also we, we have we should that. also check the magnificent feast place. It might be in town right now. Uh, I uh, forgot its name, but they shared Hydra last time, I it was... and it sounded like it had Kraken the month before, and it oh. might be right now if we're lucky. And You're I right. we have money, and yeah, we have we money do now. Have money. <laughs> And I'm sure Blackfist could like get us. A it has been a month. Oh, <laughs> dude, Tiffany's Kraken place. Yes. What about Kraken sandwiches on pumpernickel bread? Oh, they yeah. change it each time. I heard. Yeah, this so is it's an probably adventure. not Kraken. Oh. We'll find out what it is, and then we can try sandwiches. Oh, it's Dinos. I just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how that memory works isn't it yep dino's so, bar um, and grill the exotic meat bar and grill let's let's stop by dino's first then mares and then like maybe tiffany's on the way out like some pumpernickel bread for the road oh that sounds lovely i, like, I, I still need to get like actual rations yeah uh, then actual yeah. rations okay. uh so i've got a couple hundred gold for our budget um what kind of food do we want? Let's get some not of the like, nice stuff. Yeah. Not like super fancy, not shit. Somewhere like like comfortable. Like something good that like Steven can work with. The thing that we're eating right now. Is that what we're eating? How much, how um, much can we get can, can we get some more cheese this time, guys? I feel yeah, like our dairy go, uh, yeah. supply some maybe I'll a couple some oranges. Cheese in my eggs next time. Oh, oh I wonder if I could nice. grow oranges on the boat. Ooh. I wonder if they have any pre. What about some lemons? You know, there's lots of sunshine out in the ocean there, Joy. There's yeah, lots not, of sunshine not to just like there. writing down a grocery list. Okay. Get some lemons. Just put a put a dollar price to it. Mark them all as, as comfortable or higher. Did you guys like that boar I killed last time? Uh, it's, it's, it was here that I did it. Oh, go that get some more delicious. of that. We can dry that. Oh, could we make boar jerky? Yes. You know, Joy, I actually really like your idea of can you grow at, uh, oranges we should experiment with the oranges and then maybe we can do more i'm thinking like apple tree oh. and then start making our own cider on the ship oh nox would love that no, you're pretty good what now i was busy doing could, that. uh hard cider i wonder if we could stretch the apple trees along the new red trim of the boat like they do on those fancy farms oh, I thought those vineyards. I thought those were for grapes. Oh, oh, oh grapes! It looks, it looks like grapes, but they do it with apple trees. It's really? really grapes, grapes yeah. would be lovely That's too, cool. Joy. Grapes would be, but I don't like wine. I think we're <laughs> okay, starting to get to grapes. more than we can fit on the boat. Well, are y'all as as players? Are you hungry right now? Because this sounds like <laughs> you're hungry. Um, a little bit. <laughs> take a cheesy <laughs> cracker break. What? I, forgot, uh, I forgot that weeks are not seven days i keep doing that wrong it's a 20 day journey in from the um thing so i need to do that math yeah that was one of our more creative but probably poorly thought out ideas i have not put the hammer down and changed it back to like a seven or a ten day cycle but yeah wait a week's or five, wait, five days? days five yeah and a month is okay, i keep days. screwing up things with weeks too a mo month is what five days uh, five weeks so okay. a total of 25 days for a month it's definitely yeah, a nice, cleaner so way to do things. Dino's mm. first. Yeah. As you Stop by. Move Come back the, to me with the math. Later. Move through the docks, the the docks and the warehouse district. You move into the very familiar part of town with the restaurants and the bars, and you do see a big banner. Dino's open tomorrow. Honey glazed Tyrannosaurus Rex. What? <gasps> That's amazing. Okay, we have to stay the night. It's worth it. It's worth it. What? 
<laughs> honey glazed Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got a big art piece with a, with a with a large T Rex with an apple in its mouth, a very large overgrown apple. It's just this cartoony T Rex um, on a we plate. Do, we all do know what T Rexes are, right? Uh, I don't know how yeah. common they were. So you'll say yes. It's it's a large. Li- you know, it's a large lizard uh, that lives in the Sanilis's area. Um, oh, it's sort of like tigers in Rome. They didn't actually have tigers, but they knew about them. Right. Okay. As those things are huge. You, okay. as you sit there, you see that the, there are smoke plumes just rising out of the back kitchen. Like they're actively a warehouse of people working. You see. Um, Can this... I see it? Can I spy over a fence? Give me, give me a perception check. Twenty-one. I'll give you a boost. <laughs> you can do it at an advantage. Why not? Did it? Did it do it? Did it do it? No, it probably will double anytime. Okay, too easy. So what you see is as you, you boost up, they have built, and they have handcrafted outside a large grill. This thing is uh, 40 feet long, 10 feet back. Uh, all the meat is uh, been chopped up and is on large racks attached to bone and ribs and legs, and it, it's just either in a... Either People are bringing meat from the outside to the inside. They're salting it. They're glazing it. Um, there's large bags, which would be like trash bags and residue from from skinning and leathering. And there's, there's actually people hauling away those bags of leather. And it's just kind of this whole warehouse of cooking. Guys, so it's, it's like... Away. Guys, it's... I w- yeah, that was what I was going to say. I'm like, first of all, guys, they, um, they've got it down like a factory in there. It's amazing. But there's these bags of... T-Rex leather, and I want to know what they're doing with them. That's fair. T-Rex. Okay, so here's the thing. We have to get... We have, we have to figure out how to get in. Like, we have to, we have to get reservations. I still think we should go talk to Blackface, because we ended on pretty what, good terms we, with Blackface. Yeah, we could just go in and see if they need help with the dishes. Yeah, you, you do see that the... Uh, on the, on the side, little priest here! There's a price. It, it is. Uh, Are you gonna bless the meat? Is a hundred gold per meal. A hundred gold per meal. I can afford that. I, I can't. I can, but it will come at a cost. Uh, I can. Uh, cost. Tell you what, guys. I got enough for two people. If wait. two people want it, I, I'll just need a bite. I don't really need it. I just want to taste it. Wait, guys, guys, real quick. Here's just an idea. Blackfist is a powerful man here. And we do have something on the level of information. And I don't know. Information? Trade for a little bit for a nice dinner? A dinner and some Dude, leather? Let's do it. Let's try I it. agree. The, the, the worst he could do is say no. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the worst he that. could do is eat us. But worst he could do is try to kill us. But you know. But but we could always offer we taste better if we had some T Rex in us. Exactly. Heavy <laughs> glaze. Also, to be honest, with everything we've been through and sharpening of our skills, I actually think we could kill uh, Blackfist now. Oh, <laughs> what I want. To. I don't know if he can hear us, but I understood. I mean, <laughs> not that I want to. Like, all right. Um, sorry. Uh, I've done the math. And for just about enough food to get us there and back, um, we'll still have 248 left over from the ship budget. That sounds really good. Nice. We're doing well for ourselves. I could also, one thing I've been thinking of, um, one thing that was just given to me, um, I could make us extra clothes now on the very, 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 I just need to sit for 10 minutes type of thing if we have the cloth. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, I do know a um, a cloth here. Um, <laughs> that you do. Really, I could make a- a- anything as long as it's like I have enough material for it. Is there anything else we want to use using the ship budget? <laughs> Tom. <laughs> what did Tom say? I'm not. Even <laughs> could you make the party less clothes? <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> we can visit the sewer. That'll make us less close. Hey! Uh, God. We still have to wait for that art. I saw a sneak peek of it the other day. 
Don't rub it in. So. Oh, no, she's rubbing it in my face. What I would you like to do? It would be for sneak peeks. No. What would I would like to go see do? Blackfist. Yeah, yeah let's... I'd also like to go with, with whoever, whoever wants to come with. Yep, I'm joining. Yep. Right. As well. I'll tag along. Are we all going at this point? If, if you know, going, no, yeah, it sounds like everyone's going. I'm going. If Jeez. we're going in a hood, I'm going to be in the middle and read my book. Okay. You make your way down the familiar streets to the nicer part of town, and you do make your way to Blackfist Manor. It is still a large place with a fence and a walkway. And as you get to the door, it opens before you knock. The old man standing in front of you. Ooh, this is where I'm like, oh, names. I had a name for this guy. And my memory's garbage. But he looks at you, looks at the group you and says, oh, you've returned. Welcome uh, back. Penny, yes, we're, Penny we're, Bottom. Penny yes, Bottom. Penny. Ah, Penny Bottom. That's right. He says, um, is there something we can do for you at the Black Fist Estate? Uh, well, it was a combination of things. First off, we were back in town, and it's been like a month, so we thought it'd at least be nice to say hi. And then also, eh, we we're possibly hoping for at least some sort of a connection or a favor, because, well, Dinos is currently serving. Ooh, dinner guests. I'm sure Blackfist is be happy. <laughs> God damn it, not dinner. Please, come, wait in the lobby. I'll inform <laughs> the master. He's he's working on something, but it should only be a minute. Please, please. We're willing to wait. Okay. He's been so kind to us in the past. Hasn't he, though? And he brings you into the waiting room, sets, seats you down, and he goes up the stairs and down the hall. And five minutes pass, just about seven and a half minutes pass, and you see Kragar Blackfist, the salt and pepper beard, well trimmed, uh, hair parted in the middle, uh, neatly combed in a almost a, a nobleman's militaristic dress yellows and grays and he walks down the stairs and he says my friends welcome back to my humble city how can i mayor blackfist help you today i'll just i'll just look i'll just look back at uh look back at nox told you <laughs> kind of feeling but wanted to ask um well Told Penny Bottom. First off, we we were here because back in town and thought it would be really rude not to at least say hello. Small boy. Uh, we've excuse actually me, been doing very me. well for ourselves. Mom, I'm rude. Small man. <laughs> doing well for yourselves. Tell me, tell me about your journeys. Um, did we tell him about the Elfrot before? I think yeah. he knew. I don't remember. Yeah, the uh, the disease our uh, our elven friend had, we've been able to cure it. Oh, that's uh, lovely, dear. Had an interesting encounter involving trolls and hags and fire Giants. elementals. Oh, they're the, they yetis. are the worst. Yeah, the oh, the yetis were the fucking worst. Yeah, the oh, yetis. God, us. I killed fire elementals by dumping rain on them. Oh, I bet you did, dear. I, Look at you. I need to specify. You're there was one star. hag. There was one hag that oh. split into four. Three. Split, three. split into three. Well, oh. there were four total. Four hags? Was, there weren't four. We only killed three. Did we? It doesn't matter. It three was hags? Very four hags? It was. Hmm. thought it was three. I, your adventures must have been so grand if the details of three or four hags have gotten you twisted. <laughs> um, so it was hags. We were also wondering... Uh, well, we know Dinos is in town. Uh, well, not in town. Uh, Dinos is operating at the moment. Uh, we took a stop by there. And we're wondering what it takes to get dinner reservations. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you saw the sign. It's a pricey but reasonable dinner for the amount of work and uh, hardship that goes into it. I hear a man died on this trip. Oof. 
rests his soul. Um, but I imagine that's why you're here. You think Mr. Mayor Blackfist could help you, don't you? Uh, well, we were hoping. Nothing's lying to you. I think I could. Favor for a favor. I had in my mind at least a couple of bits of information that would be possible to trade. Information? Well, the problem with information is I won't know the value till you tell me, and then what have I paid for? True enough. Um, we could also go um, an a la carte basis. I mean... All right, how about this? You tell me a piece of information. I'll slide an appropriate amount of gold across the table. If you don't think the value was well paid, you can stop right there and we'll talk of the means. Sound fair? Fair enough. Let's do this over crackers. I've had some platters arranged upstairs. Would you join me in the dining room once again? Do you have cheese? I do. We've been talking about cheese, and so now I want cheese. We we got ourselves a Parmesan and a Gouda right now. Looks like I'm going for the Gouda. Yes. Yes. I would tell you, the, the meats, we've got a, a salami and something that looks like a pepperoni, but I don't think you want to dine on that particular brand today. But you'll have to excuse me if I do. Hey, and look, I'm, I'm not here. I'm going to bring us <laughs> over to our map again. Were you gone that day? I no, Yeah, that was the day I was yeah. in California, drunk off my fucking ass. And this was the day that Larry had to drop out because he was half dead from alcohol. Yep. So he will I leave forgot you about, I forgot that it was that day. Man. Yeah. He will lead you up to the... Um, this makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Up the stairs, into the dining room, his personal office, which we I so lovingly crafted that one day. Um, as what you walk the in, fuck, uh, Larry, why? What the fuck, Larry. <laughs> it's perfect time. Hey. Two <laughs> points. In... Uh, okay, so let me think about this for a moment. You know what? Um, I think Larry sorry. has the right idea. Okay. So here's, here's how this plays out. You walk up, nah. the, the gargoyle on the outside winks at you as you walk through the hallway. The fireplace waves at you. The two suits of armor behind the desk salute you. And he says, um, don't mind them. They are a little more showy after they've been made aware. They are absolutely harmless. Mostly. Mostly. Hey, do you hear that? It looks like a you hear that? It's a storm is on the way. There's been a lot of those uh, recently. Hmm. What do you know about storms? As the... It sounds like hail starts to pelt the outside. Damn it, Krolom, I'm sorry for anything I might have done to insult you, but please stop, Tempest God. Krolom's <laughs> <laughs> presence hasn't been felt here in some time. I'd be blessed if he threw some hail on us. Uh, speaking of storms, though, actually, uh, have you heard about the tsunamis? We have. Now, I'm told they hit both the... Hmm. Actually, I'm doing the math. I'm doing the, the real quick. We're told they hit the western continents, eastern side, pretty heavily. But here, we just watch the water build up and... Well, I'm back in a tsunami. We, uh... We're actually there for Ground Zero, one of them. You're lucky to be alive, I, I take it. Yes, and, uh... Being the curious bunch that we are, um... First bit of information, uh... Well, two of our own, and I'll just go over to, uh... Kester and Joy. Seem to have figured out more or less where that all originated from now you have you have my curiosity but please let me let me partake in some crackers <laughs> while i listen and he he pours himself a little bit of wine and begins to, to eat meat cheese and crackers and passes them out to the rest of you and says 
you did a, a damage assessment there, my bright young acquaintances. And I'll just kind of like gesture at you two, Troy and Kister. You'd tell it better than I could. It's still really uncomfortable here, Kister. As, as Knox goes, he's it's eating. He reaches dog. his hand out and, and he stops Knox before he reaches for the wrong tray of meat. He goes, not that one. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> he's still very well fed. Was that the pepperoni? No, you've you've you're fine. It's this plate, he, the one you haven't pulled from that you were reaching for. He'll pull over. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. So, what have you learned from your battle assessment there? Okay, that was weird. Sorry. You good? You okay, Kester? The hail is uh, the outside of his house right now. I did. That might have been it, but like, I don't know, it was just this very loud, just brrr, like someone was taking a power drill and I was really confused. <laughs> Anyways, though. Well, I mean, it looks like something in the southeast caused it. The southeast? Well, that's, mm -hmm. that's in Lowe's territory from here. Uh, well, southeast from where we were before, which isn't we here. Do we plan on retelling, we giving him no hoach bard? Um, to, uh, let's give him yeah. at least the country of origin first and see how much that's worth before we give him a little bit more specific. Mm. Okay, then. Fair enough. Uh, we'll give him the country of origin. I tip my tongue. Fortic, wasn't it? Or... Fortic, yes. That sounds right. He'll lean in, he'll say. Damn straight. You've confirmed or further pinpointed what I had already known, but instead of not paying you for this confirmation, I offer you a deal. I'll enlighten you further, or I'll pay you for what you've given me, but not both. Pay your trade. Oh, shit. I know what I want, but I don't know what the party wants. Mm, trade. I would say trade. I vote for trade. I want to know more. Uh, Nox, Jabo. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I'm 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 here for the ride at the moment. Uh, trade sounds great. Oh, um, right. Nox, Nox, stop stuffing. I don't know not under me. <clears throat> trade. <laughs> Let's see what you have to say. Word is the entire great library collapsed in an implosion. And I said, what's an implosion? They said the opposite <laughs> of an explosion. That took a few hours of back and forth. They showed me some grass, but needless to say, the entire library collapsed inward on itself. Uh, and it seems to have been located around Fortick's main office. And nobody's seen the old man, at least, what? In the last, the first day, I got the report, consuming, considering time, message spent, birds flying. Seems Fortic is missing. Like, Krolom is missing? I don't, Krolom never imploded that I am aware of. Krolom just sort of, you know, wandered off. He's like that father who went to go get glasses of milk from the dairy farm down the way and never came back. Yes, distracted by his freedoms. Is this this conversation's mm. making me a little more uncomfortable? It's making me very interested because that <sighs> confirms what I had originally thought as well. Well, minus the implosion part, that's news to me. Yeah, we had. Well, what what what, what was the way you to put it of why everything moved? It was like ripples in a pond. An increase of mass was given, or new matter was put in, and everything else had to pull towards the new matter. I'm afraid y'all haven't gotten any closer to Dino's. Do you have more information? Uh, separate topics. We no. do have more. Um, do you all need to confer? It seems that not all of you agree on the information. Uh, that was the most valuable that we had, but I guess we should have known that you'd be able to pinpoint what was going on. Well, I mean, should we take is... a moment? If you want. I mean, there is one of the... Yeah, we should take a moment. Please, I'll... Yeah. You sit. I gotta relieve myself anyway. And he stands up. And he walks out of the room. 
Door closes behind him. He Absolutely. doesn't invisible his way back in. It opens and closes. Door closes behind him. Everything in the room is a mimic. Everything in the room is still a mimic. And... All right. Uh, I'm going to cast C invisibility. Okay. There is no invisible things in the room. No sensors? No sensors? No. Okay. All right. Oh. I expected him to be more sneaky than that. No. I... I think he knows that we're good friends to have. Fair enough. Oh, fuck. Okay, so first little bit of at least vague joy. Tell us if uh, we, we should get more specific with it. But um, first bit of information, possibly. The fact that Chaos Flowers are definitely more than what people have been suspecting they are. I don't care, just as long as we keep our friend's name out of all of our conversations. Yes. Is that the only hard line that we have? Because whew, there's a lot that I think we've learned. I mean, I don't trust, I don't like this guy, but that's just me. Helpful. Good He's very us. helpful. He's been that. very helpful, but mm. go for it, Knox. I was say we could mention the fact that there's a portal to the elemental realm. Like, we could mark it on a map. That yeah. would be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Or, uh, or the sword that we found might be important. Uh, he might kill us if we mention that sword. That sword. I doubt he'll kill you for that sword. Um, once we hand it over. No, 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 no. Maybe he'll pay us for it, the sword. If we hand over the sword to him, he might kill somebody for handing it to him. Yeah, that hmm. from what you've told me. Um, <laughs> now, here's an interesting one. And I'll just turn to Jabo. You are... <laughs> what, 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 what. Uh, oh. You've learned some bits about your origin. How much of that would you be willing to share? I'm sure someone like Blackfist would find it interesting. Oh, I'm an open book. Share everything about me. Uh, just no more of those theories. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure we could just... Jabo, if you wanted, we could just give you an open floor to talk about yourself for like an hour. That might make us some money. Oh, crap. Uh, me, I'll, I'll tell him whatever I remember. Just be real careful about talking about your family, okay? Yeah, try not to mention Durant or Anthony, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think I got that under wraps. Um, and then other than that, yeah, the flowers might be interesting. Maybe not mention the pixie herself, yeah. but... Yeah, that, we might keep that a secret. But at least mention flowers, their ability to spread their wide, mm -hmm. range, of, wide range of effects beyond what we knew, and maybe their ability to cause sentience? Uh, I might leave that bit out. Okay, that's fair. Fucking Quaz can always give him Nox's cousin. Too <laughs> bad that's in the ocean, bud. I mean, you can always give oh, the rest of the book. That got thrown in the ocean. The, oh, the, picture, the picture on the front page was ripped out and tossed in the ocean. <laughs> Everything else was kept, though. Um, I think that's the bulk of what we have. Yes? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh wait, 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 wait! What about the um, the monsters from uh, the other town? The 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 ghoul birthing monster. We'll see if he already oh, knows about that. Stuff. I have a feeling he might already know about that, but if he doesn't, yeah. And at the very least, a first-hand account could be valuable to him. Exactly. So, we'll say a couple more minutes pass after you decide what you're gonna tell him, and he'll walk back in. He'll say, uh, "Well, that was that was pleasant." New scented candles. It's a nice fragrant saffron. And he sits at the table. He sits at the table and says, you. "You've you've got yourself a what you got? What you got for saffron Uncle? candles? Gross. <laughs> well, we can't all appreciate the finer things, there, can we? Nope. Uh, so I think either we lead with. I mean, Joy's the expert on one of the chunks of information we have, so either lead with Joy or Jabo's the other expert. 
on the other chunk of information. So, one of those two. I'll leave it up to the two of them. Uh, go, go ahead, Joy. Oh, oh, well, so you know how last time we were here, there was that plant everybody was looking for, and they said it could do, like, six weird things? It turns out it can do more than six weird things. Have you heard about it? Oh, hmm. Why don't, why, don't, why don't you keep talking? And um, if you want to trade rather than buy, I'll talk. Oh, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing here. I hate talking, <laughs> guys. Um, well, we I planted some, and it made my friend Kia here do all these crazy things, and I wasn't there for it, but apparently it did like six crazy things that weren't any of the six crazy things it was supposed to be doing. Maybe Kia can tell you. It almost killed the entire party. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what it did. We were shot kitchen of lightning. Fire. I set the ship on fire. I put I it teleport. out. I teleported. Um, what else did I do? I, no, I te- no, I teleported. Um, I teleported through walls. Like, completely phased through walls. Oh, one time it made fog. Like, I, I licked one of the flowers and everything was foggy all of a sudden. There, there's also an invisible one. Yeah, that's true. He he reaches out into a pouch that's sitting on the table and he pulls out some coins and he he starts making stacks of ten. He makes two and a half stacks of ten and he says, Do you have any of these plants? Well, maybe the seeds with you. <laughs> no. Everybody uh, wanted me to get rid of it. That was a smart idea. Yeah. They're dangerous. They're the, the, that's how much is known. Um, so flowers have more effects than we previously thought. And he pushes the 25 gold into the center table. It can also very rapidly reproduce. Like, I think we had one for like a couple of days growing. Uh-huh. And within a couple of days we had, what, like 60? Yeah, it was pretty yeah. bad. Wasn't it in the good soil, though? Yeah, I did. I gave it a little boost. He pulls out another 10 gold and he pushes it forward and says, that confirms what we've seen out of San Luis' territory. It's the full-time job for many uh, acolytes burning it away. Yeah, we threw it in the ocean. Mm. I just remembered something about that related. Should we mention snitch? You've got yourself a snitch. (laughs) No, (laughs) I'm snitch. We, we We found a man Goblin. Goblin. Snitched. Half goblin, him. half man? No. no full I, goblin. Full goblin. It's hard to get your pronouns right. Um, I, I, I'm sorry. We picked him up oh. around San Luis's territory near the islands. That's what we're trying to talk about. That's what I was trying to mention. Oh. The fact that those islands... I remember Joy mentioning that the growths on the islands were very similar to those of the chaos bombs growths. Well, I'm sorry, that's yeah. not new information, uh, yeah, young enough. cleric. Um, then, of course, there is the... Uh, I believe we mentioned that we fought out some elementals uh, up on the north. All right. Where um, at? He, uh, he'll point to a map on the wall. Can you show me? Uh, <laughs> Nox tries to jump up and doesn't reach it. Kia, yeah, you're both tall and a navigator. How about you? Uh, Okay, yes, um, I'll uh, point it out on the map. Tell me more about these elementals, uh, dear. They, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, they came from this... They were in the cave that we found the hags in. And they just kept coming. Oh. We believe there's direct access to the primal plane of fire in those caves. He'll we take didn't out, go much further into the caves. He'll take out 100 gold and push it into the middle of the pile. Alright. Access to the elemental plate of fire in a cave on this island. That's worth do it. Be, do be careful, though. Um, there's some sort of magical barrier, like, weakening because they all multiply. Divide mm. is more like it. Mm. Yeah. It's a very strange island. He'll take out another 25 gold and say thank you for the warning. and get 150. Uh, there's also, of course, I think we mentioned before, 
uh, giants, trolls, and yetis. Uh, the yetis seem to be pack hunters that attack when you're at, uh, yeah. attack at night. I've got the I've got the lay of the external parts of the island and it's beast pretty well. Nothing Fair new enough. there, unfortunately. Next, imp- next interesting bit is a. Uh... It's been a busy couple of weeks for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. So we saved best for last, I see. Uh, yep, so as I've introduced myself before, I'll let you know I'm a Warforged, but uh, I guess I'm a bit more rare than I realized. Uh, uh, as far as uh, we went to Ectune, and uh, that's where I guess I was built. And uh, it's... Uh, he, he starts reaching informed. into a bag as you talk, and he starts stacking up piles of ten, but they're platinum coins. Uh, he has, he's, he's, he's not pushing him forward, but he's, yeah. he's just encouraging. He's waiting. Uh, as far as I was told, I'm the last of my kind, and there's uh, no uh, no way to re- make more of me. The 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 art was lost. Who uh, who told you this, Jabo? Uh, people of Ectu. Names. Oh God. I, mean, I think the detail. I think the detail playing of with his the coins. Pos- I think the detail of the position of who you were talking to is fine. Oh yeah, but I just don't remember the, the leader of Ectune, whoever that. The, like, the I, head. I'm paladin. really bad at this stuff. It was the head uh, paladin of Ectune. Well, now, yeah. now I say that again. What did the head paladin of Ectune have to say about you and being the last of your kind, Jabo? Uh, he said he adds a uh, hundred gold to the pot and keeps playing with the rest of the pot. He said, "Oh God." Um. Well, he gave me a lot of compliments. He said he really liked me, and uh, uh, I told him the stories that uh, basically we told you, and uh, he told me that he wanted us to continue on journeys and uh, uh, come back with more information. So I think he's just gathering information just like you. Jay, but I feel like there's more to that. He's not a... He's not on the same level as me, Jay, but what... What else? Uh, Why does he care about you and your friends so much? He puts another hundred gold worth of platinum into the middle. Uh, well, not for sale. I I do know that he said something about like. Okay, I I, I call bullshit on this, but he says he's really old and he's been around uh, since my creation. So I I don't know. Maybe he's got just a great attachment for me. Give me a um, deception check. Let the deception roll high. Oof. Oof. Mm-hmm. What was that? What do you have? 250 in the middle now? Yeah, we have 250 in the middle. He it has 260 because he had an extra 10. He has another. Eight stacks of platinum coins and five stacks of gold coins. Oh, time out. 1,300 gold. <laughs> that man. And he's, that big, man. he's being defensive about them now. He's, he's kind of putting his hand between, kind of like putting his hand between him and the stacks. And he goes, Jay, but I feel like you're holding out on the priciest bits, which is your right as a friend of Maya Blackfist's. But as a friend, I'd love to be able to pay you for whatever it is you're withholding. See, that's an interesting land with a lot of interesting tales. I mean... Why are you special, j What is the head paladin? I would love to know. He would not tell me any more than that. And I understand. Uh, I could go on and on and talk to you, but uh, I think I've given you all the juice I've got. So I think there's uh, one I understand one what? minor detail that is okay for us to tell. Uh, maybe f- forgetting he, he's hoping because we're such a varied bunch and we come from so many backgrounds from multiple different nations that we can. Oh right, I forgot all about that. Yeah, he he's very impressed that we've unified our very different beliefs. I mean, and I point to Joy and uh, she she's sub- from Sandalus. Yes, yeah, Sandalus. Always sunny uh, there. 
Sanalus, a creation of Ectune, a mercenary, um, a priest of Corlom, uh, a dark elf, different yeah. people. He's hoping, I think, somehow, with either information or weaponization of our cause, to unite the nations under Ectune in some way. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yep, he definitely wants... Well, I figured anybody wants to win well, the war, so... Well, that's not new. The way he was doing it, though, I don't know. To me, it seems like his strategy is a little bit more about convincing at this point than straight up fighting. Or at the very least, convincing enough people that he'd be strong enough against the only real enemy that he has left. One of you. I'm going to say Shelt. Deception check. You did all the talking, thankfully. (laughs) (laughs) Also, thankfully, I have plus nine. Yay. Woohoo! He says, um... He begins to put the platinum coins back in the bag, and he says, that's unfortunate. I was hoping you had something of value, but it seems that his interest in you was more mundane. But I at least have this. Then he reaches in, and he pulls out three tickets, Hmm. puts them on the table, and he says, to Dino's, I can spare three Now, this is, uh, numbered. You'll be at my table. Please don't sell these. I would hate to have dreadful company. Uh. (laughs) I know that feeling. (laughs) Question. Um, Yes. If we purchase other tickets so that we can round out everyone who's coming. Unfortunately, my table's full past these tickets. Okay, yeah, that's just wanted to know. But there are still tickets on sale. With the prices, there's usually a couple of empty seats each time anyway, but they can't afford to lower them. Man died. Right, it's, it's all right. We really appreciate it. I mean, half the group, I mean, we're stuck with each other on a boat all the time. I don't I don't think it's too big of a deal to split the party a little bit there. Now, mm. Mm. one last thing. Information is what we <laughs> offered. To, to solve our little problem here. Hmm. You also had a favor you wanted done. I, I don't know, guarantee do. we'll do it, but mm. I am curious to at least hear the details you'd be willing to give. All right. Any problem you'd have at least interests me. Well, let's say I'm not asking for you to add to my freezers, but somebody's been annoying the guilds. See, there was a vacuum for a little bit with Furbottom gone, and a pair, a couple, seized an opportunity and drove out the three ladies. Drove them out of business. Replaced it with a brothel. Now, I'm... I am uh, not against, necessarily, the sins of the flesh, but... It's in such a prominent place in town, and the, the three ladies, well, let's just say I owe them a favor. I would love if you could just solve that problem. Maybe get the brothel to move to a less convenient location. If I go out and preach in front, everyone will just leave within five minutes. Believe it. I, I do believe it, but I need something more permanent, some kind of guarantee. I think we, the least we could do is at least look. I look at everyone else. If you do, if you don't, I'll solve it my own way. Otherwise, I'm sure you would love to at least take the opportunity to earn your stay. You'll pay? You'll pay. <laughs> well, it's been lovely as always. No, it has. Would you like some cheese to go? I would delight in some cheese. I'm good, thanks. What about some bearded pepperoni? I tease. We shave the beards off. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. Don't think about it too hard, Nox. (laughs) 
they, must have, cut the they must have cut the beard off before they died, because otherwise they would have came back. No, I'm wondering how he made the pepperoni out of stuff that has a beard. Yeah, lots of things have beard snocks. Maybe it's dragons. Lizards have beards. Just... Do you know that? I know lizards I have beards. I'm just... Never mind. Just never Thank you for your time, Black. It's You're a... welcome. It's a pleasure seeing you again. See you at dinner. Look forward you to dinner. your... Your acquaintance, I believe? Acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, Blackfish, quick question for you. Quick answers. Uh, caught my curiosity. The work, like with the armors and stuff, do you do that yourself, or do you have someone that you works with you? Yeah, are you pointing to his... Living... The, the animated objects he has all around. Oh, I'm a bit of an artist, Kester. Right, but I mean, they move. I've been to the bathroom. They're very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> For as long as I need them to, absolutely. They're my creation, Kester. They're your creation, and you do that uh, through a similar practice to mine, or a divine practice? A little bit of, little bit of natural talent, a little bit of what you do. Would perhaps uh, I can interest you in a book. I have extras. My detour, our detour into the Hag's Cave brought me in contact with four spell books the hags have most when i first looked at it only one of them was in my range two of them are currently in my range there are still two more that are out of my range y'all you have one of these books on you i do not have it on me but i could mm. bring you one at mm, dinner might be a little dangerous hmm. you see i don't it, know what the tail of presence is right now finds my its way to my front door sure i'd, I'd love to take a look even if i already have Copies of these copies. It's it's worth at least half the value to pass it out. I'll make sure I can find its way here. Well, thank you. Discreetly. Of course. Not all of the red cloaks are gone, though most of them are. You missed them by about a week. What was the response to um, the unfortunate situation down at the warehouse district? A few Haggins. Stories of, stories of, uh, well, strange folk with, well, mechanical men, dark skin ladies. You made it a, you made a strong presence. They didn't quite connect you to it, but you are the strongest presence people had in their minds, and you, you fled. So what I'm saying is, don't make too much of a ruckus again. For your safety, not mine. Consider that free. Noted. Sounds good to me. Um, I think we'll be off. He scoots back and beckons a bow and Penny Penny Bottom is at the door before you realize it. And he says, "This way." Thank Thank you for attendance, so Blackfish. He's been quite lonely as he talks to you walking out. It's been a while since he's had time. He's made time. There's at least five guests. Waiting in the in the and you pass actually just a, an entourage of people waiting to meet with the mayor as you leave. They seem put out and annoyed that they've had to wait. But the day is bright and sunny and it's um almost lunch time now. You this was more of a brunch visit. Crackers are a good brunch food. <laughs> so Tiffany's? Um as we walk past them, I'm just like, priestly duties, that's all. Make sure you all go to church. Have a good day. <laughs> uh, good to hear that again, Nox. I gotta bring back the classics for episode 20. <laughs> we set that up oh perfectly. My, wait, guys, yeah, are we gonna get to go to T-Rex dinner for episode 20? Yes. Actually, it's okay. nine twenty-one. So, yeah, you that's a great point. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we close off as the party exits <laughs> the mayor's house into the streets of Jellycoy. Before them, the path to Tiffany's, the path to Dino's, the path to the three ladies, which apparently holds a lot more ladies <laughs> tonight. <laughs> There's another leak. Is this yeah? An extension are there, are there of the leaky leak ladies? ladies? <laughs> Like is is this their League of ladies now? Am I gonna be offered a job here too? Is this their franchise? Is this the franchise of Leaky Ladies? Is find out find out next time.
<laughs> on delving in deep. Um, thank you everybody for hanging out. It's been a it's been a pretty fantastic run. It it is episode twenty next week. Uh, did we did we ever secure that thing you were talking about, Joy? Yeah, it's up to me. That's all right. I'll do it. Hey guys, there's a giveaway next week. Don't know what it is yet. It's something cool. We'll figure it out. Um, our love back at you. Uh, give away some cool D and D swag. Um, we have some what? random number selection things, and it'll be fine. We'll do it at the break. Um, you know, just like Big Papa Critical Role does. We'll we'll give you a, give it away. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Critical lo- Critical Role, our Lord. Big yeah. <laughs> don't big, big Daddy Roll. Um, yes, know, Tom, you pop- are absolutely eligible. You are. What popped in my head was. But if you win, I get to choose what it is. <laughs> What's that it's knock? a kiss from me if you win, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we can we can we put that on the block? Can we do like a take shot on a date? Um, oh, that's hilarious. Are we the giveaway? Oh, Let's put no. Trevor on a date. Let's do this. I've been trying to do this for like twelve years. Let's nah, do nah, this. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> All right. Um, zen zen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got What's up? Nothing. You Tom says he wants to enter twice. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on the deals. Um, yeah, so that that's happening. No, no, nothing else too big. Follow all these sexy people on their social media tags below their screens. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. Go check it out. Uh, are either one of our streamers, any of our streamers streaming tonight? Uh, I, I just got later. off a plane like seven hours ago. This is all the streaming energy I have. Nope, that's absolutely fine. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Um, I still gotta eat. So. If anybody in the in the audience wants to stream, I will also kick it over to you because nobody, I don't have anybody on my channels that I need. So you just let me know. That being said, thanks for hanging out. All of you are fantastic. Continue to hang out. Let's play some more video games. Put my ass in some Magic the Gallery. Collect your shiny Tib Tibs. Um, and Tom is still up. I think he should jump on the Zoom chat and talk to us. Yes. People <laughs> called out. These guys out. would like it. Uh, they would love it. They want some more of it. Uh, check us out Thursday for the deputies. Episode seven is happening. Ooh. They're in school, and you can see what mm-hmm. was happening to Durant, Crowen, slash Anthony Piles before I'll also be starting school on Thursday. So. Oh my god, I totally ordered a t-shirt. Oh no, um, that picture you of the t-shirt, t-shirt. Can you post it? He, she she bought she bought a she bought a t-shirt that she made. It sounds like I, I hope she made it. It doesn't already exist. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> it, it's like a. Yeah, check it out in the show discussion. It's like if Anthony was going to wear a shirt, the t-shirt, oh, a military that t-shirt, that's okay. what it would be. So um, is there a link where I could look at purchasing one of those? Uh, I made it on my Canva page. So no, but I can, yes. No, I mean, it's something to think about if we were ever going to do actual merchandise. But for now, we'll hold off on like sending people to, to somebody else to make money. Um, yeah, but you, you definitely need one. I, I'd wear it. Just right here, just instead of U.S. Army, just like Ectune's Army. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, thank you, everybody, for the for the follows, for the bits. If I'm I'm going scrolling through, it looks like Jamie. Oh, that's four hours ago. The mini feed's no good. Um, <laughs> so Cranky hit that two thousand bit button. Jamie threw down another hundred. Uh, so many gift subs from Spoopy. And yes, Spoopy, you're you're definitely earning uh, <laughs> so many additional episodes. That being said, come March, I'm I'm moving. Cross country, uh, so there's going to so be. There a, might be a downtime. There might be a downtime, so I will schedule as many games as I can possibly stream. But a lot of that depends on internet connection, availability, and location. So more to if, follow. It, it, it hopefully is not a blackout month, but there's always the possibility. I would hate that. <sighs> Anything else? Yeah, spoopy in March. Yeah, we're all gonna miss him. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna have to have some sort of going away. He was. Yeah. He was going to. Well, I hear I'm couch surfing, so I at least have you know the first Tuesday of March. We could just I'll sit right next to Jabo, right next to Larry, and we'll just. We'll so do you're it. still coming to ECC with us? Um, I. I or is that the <laughs> second weekend of I March? I physically drive away on the 10th or the 11th. Damn it. Yeah, um, I have a I have a deadline. I have to get to my next duty station on the first of April, but I have to back plan house hunting uh a stopover in missouri uh some yeah yep so unfortunately i'm no longer gonna be able to make it to fair the army uh, the army i thought was gonna move me in september is now moving me in april um but it's cool it's a new adventure i'll have a downtown loft in the middle of the quad cities in iowa so 
Yes, I'm a, Cranky, Missouri. Hey, I have to make a stop in Missouri, but Cranky's not in Missouri, is he? He's got family in Missouri. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Springfield area. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We're going to go ahead and close this episode out. We'll see you next week, Tuesday, same time. Episode fucking 20. Woo! Episode 20. <laughs> Later. Later. Bye. Adios. Yo, bye bye. Bye bye. He keeps kicking me in the deck. Why? Why does he keep kicking?